<laughs> That's right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, it's Wednesday. That's right. Um, normally, this Wednesday, we will be doing Trash Bingus. Um, unfortunately, that is not the case today. Um, just because of things that happened last night. I'm sure if you're in the Discord, you know what it is. It's not something I want to talk about on stream. It's not right. It's not fair. Um, so that's the end of that. Uh, how are we all doing? It's good to see you. It is indeed Wednesday. Uh, my dudes with an X, which is everyone. That's dudes, gender neutral. Um, yeah, how are we all doing? It's good to see everybody. Good to see everyone. So here, uh, here, so bright and early. We got Sumbro. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? We got Ori. Hello, hello, hello. We got Sploot Newt. Uh, we got Catgirl Steph. How is everybody doing? It's good to see you. Uh, Sumbro wants uh, access to the Discord. There you go. There's a link in the chat. Only I could do that or uh, a, a mod. And there are no mods here, I'm afraid. Hey, Adam, what's going on? Hello, dudes with an X. Uh, cheeking watching while working. Cheekily watching while working is what I imagine you wanted to say. Uh, excellent. I'm glad that you're slacking off and choosing to slack off with us. Uh, good to see you, Adam. I hope you're doing well. I'm glad that you're doing all right, Ori. Um, oh yeah, you meant cheeky. Cheeky watching. Uh, so this is the first stream actually that I'm like simultaneously uh, live on YouTube and Twitch because they changed the the, the thing on Twitch, right? They, they changed it so that like, um, yeah, it's uh, you, you could you could stream on both again, even though it was like fine to do that years ago, and then they changed it. And now it's back again. Don't know why. So, hello, everyone on YouTube. Yes, this may be um, odd if, if you've never seen me go live on my YouTube channel or whatever. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see if uh, anyone pops by in the YouTube chat. Obviously, everyone's more used to being on, uh, on Twitch. But uh, you are going to be able to see on the VOD channel. Don't worry. You are going to be able to see both YouTube and Twitch chats because I tested it. Uh, uh, up here, look. You see that? That message from DJ Mule Stream Archives, which is the channel you'll be watching this VOD on. It says, hey, did you know that DJ streams full time and this is his main source of income? That's from the YouTube chat. That's not even from the, the Twitch chat. So it works. Can you believe it? Adam all together, welcome in. How you doing? Adams are all together. Slacking off today. That's good, isn't it? That's appropriate to your username. Good stuff. Um, I'm doing good. I was doing chores and then I saw the ping, so good break timing. It's always good to have a break from chores, let me tell you. Um, Sumbro asked very on early in the chat, uh, how's you? And I do, I do want to apologize to everybody who ever asks me that as the stream is starting. I will never ever answer that in the chat uh, because I use it as an opportunity to actually say how I'm doing live on the stream so you can all hear me say it and everyone gets to hear how I am uh, I'm doing okay uh, like I said some very stressful stuff yesterday and uh, earlier this week and on uh, Sunday but um, things are, are fine and better today um, I'm doing okay personally um, yeah there's just been some very stressful stuff uh, uh, yeah, personally in personal family life and uh, and also uh, some union stuff that's been particularly uh, draining and exhausting, but that's been ongoing for about a year uh, and a half and it's very long and it's very drawn out and I'm not even going to get into it because um, it would probably jeopardize a lot of stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'm going <laughs> to... I will be talking about that eventually, I feel. Uh, but I think it's probably going to be more of like a, a YouTube video type thing to talk about it because it kind of like has ramifications on activism more broadly. Um, what's going on there in particular. So that's that. Uh, much love to all affected by the bad things. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yes. Yeah, see, see Steph there. Steph in the, in the YouTube chat. Good to see you in both places, in both places at once. That's good that things are better today. Things are better today. Yeah, things are m much, much more better today. Yeah. So, yeah, there you go. Um, but I've just been to the gym today. Uh, I woke up very early. I didn't sleep too well. Uh, Lena was keeping me up uh, last night, which is not a sexual thing. I'm not saying that she was 
we were being sexual. Um, and what I'm saying is, um, we were basically trying to sleep and she sleeps not as good as me and wakes me up all the time because I'm a bit of a light sleeper, so that's that. We've got some more people in the YouTube chat. Jeremy Hughes Review, hey, welcome in. Good to see you. How are you doing? Gumba Master is in the YouTube chat. Early hello to you too. Yep, good to see you. Michael Corcoran, hello. Welcome in. How is your beverage? It's very good, thanks. It's just a cup of tea. Uh, Yorkshire tea, in it, With some oat milk. So that's that, isn't it? Um, hmm. Okay, good to know the YouTube stream and the Twitch stream are all working good and all fine. Hey, Mr. Dank, what's good? Good to see you as well. Uh, we got a cool little stream for you today. I know we're not doing uh, Trash Bingus, um, but we are going to look at some politics stuff. We're going to have a look at some, you know, some other stuff that's going on. Um, and we're going to take a look at an Owen Jones video. And we're also going to take a look at the uh, submissions to the International Court of Justice um, portal that has come up now. Uh, it's something that was announced, I think, yesterday or something. People are talking about it in the Red Planet Discord. Um, it's, yeah, we're, we're going to talk about it. We're going to start. We're going to start right now. Um, so, if you're on Twitch, we're getting into the uh, politics segment. Uh, well, politics segment of the stream, the politics category. And get your hazmats on because you know what it's like. You know what it's like. Everybody on Twitch knows what it's like as soon as you start talking politics. YouTube chat, I'm not sure. I'm not I've I'm not really I've not really streamed politics on uh on YouTube ever, I don't think. But I do politics videos on YouTube and I know how bad that is. Um so there you go. Anyway, right, let's get into it. So, um what we having a look at here, um this is the submissions portal for the International Court of Justice submissions. Um, basically, what this means is that anyone can submit evidence to the International Criminal Court um, about the genocide in, in Gaza. So, basically, it's, it's asking Palestinians who've got stuff on their phones, recorded on their phones, evidence um, in other cases, in other, um, you know, places like, I don't know if they've got something like a, 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 a an actual photo and they've like printed it off or something, like not that that's gonna be like very, very common, but you know, just any kind of like evidence they are able to submit via the portal. Um, so as everybody is aware, make sure that you spread this far and wide because Palestinians simply do not have access to as much internet as we do. They're not going to see many people talking about this, as many people are talking about this as we do. And to be honest, even us uh, here in the Imperial Court are not going to see that many people talking about it due to the censorship that goes on due to the, um, you know, the way that these things get taken down and uh, twisted and spun and blah, blah, blah. So, Please, please, please share it. I'm going to put a link to this um, in the chat. Um, just talk about it. Just do a little post about it. Do you know what I mean? It's 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 whatever. You can, like, post about it on your Instagram, post about it on your Twitter, post about it, you know, do a little video about it on TikTok or whatever. Um, yeah, it's very, very important because the more evidence that the, the International Criminal Court gets, uh, the more likely it will be that there is finally some kind of a ceasefire in Gaza. Um, and there will possibly be, I'm not sure how like the International Court of Justice works, um, International Criminal Court, but like, is it going to be like, are they going to have more of a, uh, 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 I guess a mandate to stop Israel from, from doing this stuff? I don't know. We'll have to see. Hmm. Also an update. I know I said on Monday that I was going to be live streaming the live stream of South Africa's, uh, statements. I'm going to be late for that because I'm going for coffee with someone. So I'm going to have to basically like rewatch the opening statements of South Africa yesterday. So I'm still going to be live tomorrow, but I'm going to be rewatching it later after it happens, basically. Not as it happens. So it's st still going to be a reaction, but uh, that's it, basically. Yo, do links even like work in Twitch chat? Because like, what's not in Twitch chat in... Um... In YouTube chat because what's going on there like I can't 
uh, what what is happening? Why does why does that not work? Like it, it, links in um, YouTube chats, they like they have to be underlined in order to work or whatever. I'm not really sure. Like it seems to work. Well, you could click on it. Can you actually click on it? I mean, obviously you could probably like um, copy and paste it for sure, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Who fucking knows? Oh, it does work. Oh, okay. Well, good news. Thank you very much. Yeah, appreciate you uh, checking that, Ori. Um, all right, no worries. So that's that. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna take a little look at this. Um, also, this is the United Nations um, uh, buh, 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 YouTube channel, and I'm not sure if it's gonna be like live streamed on here. I think there might be a, a, an ICC. Let's have a look. Let's have a little look here. ICC, International Criminal Criminal Court. This is the official YouTube channel of the International Cricket Council. Right, okay. So I'm not sure if it's going to be live streamed to the United Nations YouTube channel. But just in case it is, there's a link to it. You're not really going to miss it, are you? You could just like Google or get on YouTube and go to the United Nations uh, channel there. You're not going to forget that, are you? Uh, yeah, a bit different from the criminal court, isn't it? The international... Council of Cricket. It's a little bit different. Um, but anyway, we're going to have a little look at some content regarding this. We got um, Owen Jones. We got some more Owen Jones content for you. I know everybody loves our Owen. Um, we could criticize him for some of the things that he says, but he is good uh, over in general. I don't know. Uh, basically, the... Link is in the chat. If anyone wants to check this video out, go support Owen Jones. Show him some love. He's a lovely lad. He's a good reporter. Um, we're going to be watching this video. It's about, uh, according to him, Israel's bravest politician. Um, Israeli politician backs genocide investigation. Now they're trying to silence him with Ofa Kassif. So I imagine Ofa is the person that Owen is talking about. 50,000 views only six hours ago. That's pretty fucking good. Um, so let's check this out. Let's see what he's got to say. This is about the actual Hello, I'm delighted. Uh, genocide case. Let's hear what Ofa Kasif has got to say. Joined by um, Ofa Kasif, who is Ofa. a very courageous Israeli politician, a member of uh, Hadash Party, which is a left-wing party, which brings together both Jewish and Palestinian citizens. Of I've heard Israel. of Hadash. Now, Ofa has many of you may have seen been in the headlines because he has supported the case made by South Africa, which has filed a case alleging genocide in the International Court of Justice. Um, offer firstly a huge honor to be joined by you. Thank you for having me and thanks for the compliments. Uh, more than deserved. <laughs> Can you just tell me why did you decide to back South Africa's case? Well, there are two main reasons. First of all, uh, I think that uh, what's going on in Gaza should be investigated. Uh, I, I don't want to say categorically that uh, there is a genocide goes on in Gaza, but I do want to say that some, that what's going on there should be investigated. Unfortunately, so this is so funny. This you know, Mr. Dank is saying in the, the the Twitch chat like yeah, <laughs> yeah, surprised that Israel still allows left wing parties. You know, this guy isn't even really that left wing because I don't know, it can't be that closed off what's happening in Gaza um, to people in Israel because, you know, they want to, like, show it a lot and, and be like, look at what our amazing military is doing. We're clearing the land and we're uh, expanding for, uh, you know, Jewish settlers and stuff like that. Like, they, they love to boast about it. So I, I doubt that he doesn't know what's happening. But this is, like, the left, the, the, the left wing, the most left wing that you get in Israel, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, over Overton window, yeah. Hey, Manic Opaque, I heard I heard Owen stung Corbyn back in the day. No idea, absolutely no idea. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of electoral politics. In case you're new to uh, my politics in general, anyway. So, whatever. Um, if he did it from like a liberal standpoint, that's annoying. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, all, all I'm interested in what he's, is, is what he's talking about now, really. For more than three months there, now. 
Well, that's another thing, Ori. Yeah, I agree. I think you're right. Offer probably has to avoid some political bullshit due to being Israeli. Like, maybe he actually does think there's a genocide going on there, but he can't say it because he knows how people are going to react. I remember in November, there was a guy and he lived in... Uh, oh my God, I, I, I think he even lived in Jerusalem. I can't remember exactly where it is that he lived. Uh, but he was outspoken in saying how uh, what Israel is doing in, in Gaza is just like not fair. It's not right. It's genocidal. It's, you know, the way people are speaking about it is disgusting. Um, and he's like super, super left wing, um, you know, very, very aware of like the language that people are using and compared it to like Nazi rhetoric and shit like that. And he has been hounded, you know, absolutely fucking hounded. Like people have thrown uh fucking molotovs at his house and shit like that you know because of what he said so i completely understand if this guy is keeping it a little restrained um yeah there's no way he's not choosing his words very carefully yeah i imagine that's probably the case that's probably the case hey mark it's good to see you as well uh, israel has been uh, you know launching a terrible assault on gaza uh, including the missing people i imagine i'm afraid that there are already around 30,000 uh, dead uh, in Gaza. More than 70% are innocent civilians, mainly children and women. We are talking now about apparently 10,000 children who were killed. Children, not minors, but children. We are, to we are talking about the total destruction of Gaza Street. More than 70% of the buildings are either uh, uh, totally destroyed yeah, no or, worries, man. Uh, it cannot be uh, uh, lived in. Uh, the United Nations that pub just published a couple of days ago that uh, uh, the Gaza Strip as a whole is on the brink of uh, being a place that uh, uh, cannot, the people cannot uh, live there. So apparently, you know, it seems that uh, some crimes are or have been done there. Uh, and so that should be investigated. And uh, I, uh, my signature is to investigate. Uh, Israel, as part of the Convention Against Genocide, uh, is not above the law. It's not above the international law. It's, uh, and in that sense, should, uh, the government should... I mean, it is. Let's, let's face it. <laughs> it's been getting away with a lot of stuff recently. Be investigated. Like, this petition, by the way. I, I do get what he's saying, though. He's 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 desperately trying to appeal to like very neoliberal minded, you know, the the broad civilian population of Israel. I imagine, um, and also like the rest of the world, because it's like if you just paint it as what it is, not everybody wants to accept that because everybody is just brain poisoned with neoliberal propaganda, right? So you can't like you can't just say what you know what it is especially in the media it's just such a joke it's just been such a fucking joke um watching it all unfold and like how people are speaking about it how the arguments being framed um you know it's just it's just shit it's just shit that like this is this is what people have to do this is how people have to dipl diplomatically um try and try and fucking uh uh, 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 voice their their concerns. Streamer, have you seen this watermelon thing? What watermelon thing? Um. Also, you asked earlier, uh, Sunbro, did your Discord automatically give channel permits? No, you got to wait for a mod, uh, to 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 look to look at that. I'm afraid, but um, it should happen after the stream for sure. He's absolutely got to play to the neolibs in the media so he gets his point heard, regardless of how far his beliefs actually go. Yeah, this, this guy could be an anarchist for all we know. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I can't remember what Hadesh uh, is all about. Let me Google it real quick. Uh, Hadesh. Uh, Hadash. Not Hadesh. Hadash. Um, left to far left political coalition in Israel formed by the Israeli Communist Party and other... Um, leftist groups yep sure oh yeah this shit uh this is uh i can't like i can't i can't fucking i can't deal with seeing this shit anymore i, I don't want to like i don't want to like look at any of it do you know what i mean it's like it's so incredibly annoying 
Beverly Hills, Jennifer Garner's 18-year-old daughter was spotted today donning a sweatshirt featuring a watermelon, a fruit repurposed to represent the challenges of the Palestinian people. This symbol erases the entire country of Israel. Look, like, yeah, like, she is wearing, like, uh, you know, um, the Palestinian colors um, on an actual, like, map of Palestine, right? Uh, yeah, like, this is completely based and fine. Like, it's based in anti-colonialist sentiment. Um, but it's just like, you know, the watermelon thing, if anyone's un if anyone's unaware, um, when people are censored from using Palestinian flags, which happens very often in America, yeah, in America, um, the, they use the watermelon because it has all the same colors as the Palestinian flag. And so that's essentially what's going on here. And, you know, maybe Jennifer Garner's daughter has uh, bought this from a Palestinian person, like an actual Palestinian company that's, like, giving money to Palestinians and helping the struggle over there because it is very difficult. It's by, by all uh, admissions and all observations and analysis. It's apartheid, um, you know. It's, it's one of these things. Yeah, it's, it's a positive dog whistle, right? It's, it's literally a positive dog whistle. <laughs> Um, so, you know, that tweet is horrifically anti-Semitic. Well, you know, this is what I mean. It's like, this, this symbol erases the entire country of Israel. Like, it, it really doesn't. Like, what are you talking about? You know, like, I think what they're implying here is a, you know, a kind of look at up here of, um, they're implying that because there is no Israel flag on the actual shape of the country, the map, the shape of the country on the map, they're saying that, like, oh, it's erased the entire country. Like, what are you talking about? Like, it's just this overwhelming recuperation of leftist language. It makes me sick. It's disgusting. Um, it's individualist. It's, it's neoliberal. It's fascist. It's... I just can't be doing with it, you know? Hey, Renee, welcome in. Good to see you. He does say later in the interview that he's a socialist and a Marxist. Oh, based. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, I, I mean, like, this is the thing. Like, he's probably, like, how absurd is it, right? That someone, <laughs> if so, this person offer, he's able to say that he's a Marxist and a socialist, like, openly. But he's not allowed to say that, like, oh, yeah, I believe that the Palestinians are being genocided and apartheid is happening. Like, it's more acceptable for someone to be a Marxist, uh, maybe even, like, a an anarchist, in uh, in Israel than to actually like say any I mean it's impossible you wouldn't be able to be an anarchist without actually advocating for Palestinian rights in some way at least in your head um in Israel but like yeah god it's just so fucked right so fucking fucked I believe my Twitter was the best move for my mental health I've taken arguably better than getting therapy <laughs> yeah it's just I stopped looking at it. I, I stopped looking at all of it. And I don't go on Twitter anymore. Like, I do have an alt account. Um, but, of course, I was banned for that joke that I made about Tony Blair uh, and the wood chipper. Which was a joke, by the way. Um, and um, But comedy is not legal on Twitter now. Um, so, there you go. Anyway, uh, let's crack on. And I will, if I have the time, I'll uh, elaborate on that uh, later. The petition, in my view, is not anti-Israel, it's not against Israel. It is against the government of Israel. But because the government of Israel is the enemy of Israel, it is eventually for the interest of Israelis as well. He, he's spitting, he's spitting. The second thing is that the ICJ, as opposed to the ICC, cannot prosecute any individual, either politician or military uh, personal uh, person or something like that. The ICJ has the authority to issue uh, decrees or decisions, for instance, and that's the most important thing in my view, by signing and by the of the appeal itself. <laughs> that Okay, here's, here's um, what's going to happen, by the way. Here are my predictions for the ICJ uh, case. So the initial statements are going to be Thursday and Friday. I don't know what's going to happen after that. I don't know if they have to, like, um, the... the, the decide if the case goes any further or anything um but essentially like if it does if it goes further here's my predictions what's going to happen is um 
Israel, if if they lose at the Court of Justice, which they might because they're very bad and they've got Alan Dershowitz and who knows, I don't fucking know, like, he's just been outed as, like, a, an actual sex offender. Um, so, fuck knows. Um, oh, yeah, also, by the way, do not Google um, uh, uh, Israel sex offender child sex abuse um uh epidemic because uh that's that's a whole fucking thing that i don't don't even know if i've spoken about that on stream because that's like that's like a whole other fucking thing um but yeah it's extremely fucked up but anyway maybe we'll talk about that later um by the way i don't think i said hi to huska and also hi to fantastic mr fox it's good to see you uh where was i at now so yeah my predictions my predictions yeah my predictions i don't know how the case is gonna go i don't know if they're gonna win uh, but if they lose and the International Court of Justice um, issues a decree, like, oh, you have to stop your military operations in Gaza, you have to stop any military operations, uh, stop any settlements, I don't think they're going to. I, I don't think they're going to at all. I think they're going to just keep doing it. I genuinely think that's what's going to happen. Like, the, the only way to hold Israel to account of what it's doing in Gaza right now is manufactured the consent uh, of the of the the military the populace to like do these horrific war crimes um and it it's just going to keep going until they've completely ethnically cleansed Gaza and i think that um on top of that um you know they 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 know that they can just escape any kind of punishment because they are the satellite state of the, of the USA you know that's what it is um I can imagine that that is fucked. It is fucked. Yeah, it's completely fucked. But again, like, you know, I'm not going to, you know, we don't, we don't have to, like, talk about stuff like that in order to point out how bad Israel is and the current government. Do you know what I mean? So we don't have to talk about that. Uh, but maybe we will at a later date. I don't know, because it is an actual problem and it is an actual, like, very, very worrying thing. Um, anyway. Gotta be on a work call for an hour and a half. Fuck me, Husker. That fucking sucks, dude. That fucking sucks. The ICJ Get some love the for Husker in the chat. To decide that the war, the assault on Gaza should be stopped immediately. I support that. First and foremost, in order to save lives. Hmm. Not only of Palestinians, of course, mainly of Palestinians as, as far as the death toll is concerned. But I want to save the Israeli hostages. The government hasn't been doing anything to save the hostages. There's a huge negligence, a criminal negligence by the government on the eve of the massacre, the totally a condemnable, sick, criminal carnage done by Hamas, which we totally condemn. And I expect any <laughs> it's like so it's so much more it's so much more like prevalent like he's like no they definitely definitely condemn him as like it, it coming from him rather than like you know people outside of israel are just like i actually at this point uh you know they're a revolutionary anti-imperialist anti-colonialist uh, 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 organization like you know to to condemn them would be absurd actually uh, it would go against ev- any kind of uh, anti-imperialist uh, you know uh, uh, opinions that I have anti-colonialist uh, opinions and, and any kind of land back stuff uh, yeah condemn condemn Hamas condemn Hamas again you know not not mentioning um, even at all that it wasn't just Hamas that was doing this stuff you know but this guy has to do it he has to do it extra hard than anybody else right he's got to do it extra hard than anybody else because he's actually in israel uh there's a good chance he might get fucking murdered for 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 not even mentioning this uh i also predict he'll probably say it again before the end of the interview any human being mainly the supporters of palestinian liberation to condemn hamas for this massacre Mm -hmm. and but as i began uh, uh, to say the uh, hey Johnny, what's going on? Good to see you. Neglected the south of Israel for many years and allowed the massacre to take place. Everyone go follow and Johnny. Many people in Israel, including many of the families of the uh, I do think he's based here. I, I do think that like Israel did um allow Hamas and, and the other organizations based in the Al Qassam brigades to 
uh, kill as many people as they did. And I do think that they specifically placed liberal Israelis around Gaza um, in, you know, various different kibbutzes and stuff around the, 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 the wall. This is like a known thing. It's what, uh, you know... Uh, Israel Israel does they basically say like oh you you want to you want to come and settle uh in in Israel but you do you, oh you you care about the Palestinians okay well you could go live with the Palestinians you know that's where you can go live actually um and uh you know they they will station liberal IDF uh uh members around Gaza around the West Bank I mean they're putting the IDF in the West Bank and Gaza anyway but they put that they use them as cannon fodder is essentially what I'm saying um you know so it's just like one of one of these things um it's just completely fucked and again like they they you know they let this happen you know i i'm not sure like how much in terms of like they let this happen um we we should give them credit for i think that they definitely like did not care. It's come out, obviously, that it wasn't 1,400 people. It was 1,200 people. Um, you know, almost half of them were military personnel. Uh, there's reports of military personnel hiding in bunkers while, uh, you know, the, the their soldiers were, were just basically murdered and they were, like, poorly trained, uh, didn't really want to be there anyway, um, all that kind of shit. It's one of those. Um, yeah, they acted to help increase the, the bloodshed. They fired on hostages and festival goers. There's 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 people in Israel who are demanding like a uh uh what do they call it? An investigation. Hey DJ Manic, how's it going? Good to see you. Um everybody go follow DJ Manic, by the way. She does all of my music on my videos. Well, she doesn't do... She has done music in, in one of my videos, the Berserk video, but uh, I use her music, her amazing music, in uh, all of my videos. So, yeah, please go show us some love. If not on YouTube, then on SoundCloud. Um, yeah, what am I up to? Um, there are people in Israel who want an investigation into why the IDF has been reported to have been, like, blowing up houses with hostages in. Um, you know, if that's happened in one house... It's going to have happened in another house. How many, we don't know. But it's safe to assume that if they're doing this, if they're shooting hostages as well, that are like waving white flags and saying, yo, 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 they're shouting in Hebrew. Do you know what I mean? Yo, yo, don't kill us. And they're, uh, they're shooting them. You know, it's... Uh, anyway, I've, I've fucking lost my fucking point there, but we're cracking up. Victims of the massacre in Israel, and the, the hostages say the same. I have to say that uh, I'm in touch on a daily basis with... Some of the families of the victims, uh, including the lawsuit, the how the IDF acts the festival, them, of course, yeah. not all of them. I think you're some right. Some of them totally support my and my friends, my colleagues' uh, political views and stance. So, to get back to your question, and then uh, uh, the signature is to express my will for ending the war and saving lives. And by the way, not only of Palestinians and the hostages, and again, because the government doesn't do anything to save the hostages, because they are dying there. They are dying there. Because they, 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 they have no treatment. Many of them are uh, old, sick, mm. and they don't get, uh, they are uh, uh, assaulted by Hamas. Uh, they are under the bombarding of Israel as well. There are uh, illnesses there, etc., etc. But so, but the government doesn't agree to do whatever it's pass, uh, they can to release them immediately. And we all say all for all. That means prisoners exchange. But if the, hypothetically the ICJ uh, issues the a decision that forces Israel, hypothetically, to end the war, so then the chances of releasing the hostages are going to get greater. And I also don't want Israeli soldiers to be killed. Israeli soldiers have been killed on a daily basis, but not for the security of Israel. This is a sham. This is a brainwash by the government. They are sacrificed by Netanyahu and his thugs, especially the more bigot ones, <coughs> on the altar of their own survival, of the government's survival. This is fucking the most base thing he said, actually. This is the most base thing he said. He said a lot of stuff that's like very diplomatic, but I think this is in particular like cutting and to the point 
because that you know Netanyahu like is a a, a a vicious fascist, right? This is true. Yeah. Um. The in in terms of like um why Netanyahu has gone so 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 hard on this, it's actually because he was under such scrutiny about his corruption and all this other kind of stuff. There were so many different people who were like, you know, questioning his capability as the leader of the country, um, you know, questioning some of the things that he's doing, some of the things that he's saying, uh, and whipping up like, you know, massive, uh, you know, anti-Palestinian Islamophobic, uh, just fucking vile anti-Arab in, in general, uh, racism in his base that like he's used this as an opportunity to be like, oh, actually, no, like, I'm, uh, it's important that I exist. It's important that I lead this country. I need to keep protecting Israelis. I need to, I need to be here because if anything like this happens again, oh, you better believe that we're going to retaliate in the same way that we did here. Uh, and then there'll be no more Palestinians here. We don't have to worry about it. Uh, and then we'll fucking go for Lebanon and then we'll go for Egypt and then we'll go for Jordan. Because you know, that's what's going to happen. Like, this, this is just it. Um, anyway, yeah. It's, um, he's being super based and cutting here. Like Netanyahu is, he's acting on cowardice in the fascist sense in terms of like, I must destroy these people that I'm oppressing because eventually they will rise up and destroy me. Um, and he's also acting in cowardice in the political neoliberal sense that like, oh, actually like the, the, the populace of the country that I'm not oppressing, uh, openly uh, they're, they're also realizing that I'm a piece of shit and nothing good happens for them here either, et cetera, et cetera. So. That's a terrible crime against Israel. I want it to be stopped. And if a decision by the ICJ stops it, I've done my share. What's been the response from the Israeli government supporters of, for example, Likud, the coalition government, politicians, commentators on the right, pro-war? Commentators, what what sort of response have you had? The response to my signature, you mean? I didn't yes. hear. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. First of all, as far as the, as the public discourse in general uh, is concerned, you know the social network, etc. I do have some uh, support, and I must uh, use this opportunity to express my gratitude for those who support me, Palestinians and Jews, Israelis, and Arabs as well. <clears throat> but uh, of course, it seems that the dominant or the hegemonic discourse is very hostile, not to say violent. Uh, and, uh, I, and by the way, under the auspices of this fascist government and the prime minister who has, has been supporting violence against his own, uh, you know, objectors, uh, not only now, not in, throughout the years, especially since this government was formed one year ago. <clears throat> but as far as the parliament is concerned, I'm very concerned about their own concern. <laughs> uh, I'm concerned about that. According to the Israeli law, that a law that was enacted in 2016 and we opposed to, if 70 members of the Knesset out of uh, 120, uh, uh, and 10 of whom must be from the opposition, sign a petition, to uh, expel a member of the Knesset. So hey Val, how's it going? there must be a discussion at the uh, first and foremost in the Knesset committee. If 70% uh, of the members of the Knesset committee votes for the motion to expel or impeach, if you like, uh, a member of the Knesset, then it goes back to the assembly and there there's a, there, there, there's a vote and if 90 out of the 120 of the members of the Knesset vote for this impeachment or expulsion, so the member of the Knesset is uh, expelled. And uh, I mean, not on the on the spot, it takes two years to two weeks before, so to use it to appeal to the Supreme Court, etc. So the first stage already already succeeded because they collected yesterday if more than 70 signatures. Now I must say. The guy that uh, the member of the Knesset who uh, began with this motion or uh, initiated it is a fascist. So I'm not surprised he's part of uh, those who 
knows Avigdor Lieberman's party. It's called Israel Our Home. It's a fascist gov- uh, party. Uh, the, he almost said it's a fascist government, but he's like, it's a fascist party. Avigdor <laughs> Lieberman. Uh, is I mean, uh, same thing, same thing. Also a violent uh, person, politically speaking. I mean, in his not only politically, actually, uh, but uh, he was actually... I'm just going to hit uh, the toilet chat back in a sec. ...charged with, uh, ass- uh, with uh, hitting a minor, but that's a, not our issue now. He's politically violent. And uh, so I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised either by those uh, thugs from uh, the so-called Jewish power and uh, yeah. religious Zionism, or even more, or even worse than uh, fascists. They resemble those old mostly, if you like. You know, if the Likud resembles the uh, Enoch Powell, they resemble uh, also mostly. <laughs> and and uh, so, in that sense. I'm not surprised, and I'm not uh, even angry, because the, those are their views. I'm angry at the situation that allowed them to be in power. I am angry at those members of the Knesset of Yesh Atid, of Yair Lapid's party, who signed, and who are supposedly democratic and liberals. Hmm. And they, they say, signed in order to silence my opposition, because legally they know they have no basis. The attorney of the Knesset opposes the motion professionally. I'm she back. says there's no reason, because the law says very explicitly the only three reasons that uh, 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 members of the Knesset can sign and expel another member of the Knesset who is or she is elected, let's not forget, uh, is either if that member of the Knesset supported terrorism, racism, or armed struggle against Israel. Neither of them is relevant to me. Hey, Ed, how's it going? To my signature. Quite the contrary. Those who call for the elimination of Gaza and there are ministers who say so explicitly. It was published. It's not my interpretation or imagination. Don't I love I love how he is like as stressed as I am when it comes to reporting on what the actual government ministers have said. Like th- this is not like it's not some m- mad conspiracy of the left. It's not some extreme, bizarre like overstatement of uh, 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 of of what's going on. Overstatement of harm. Um, it's literally like yes, they the government have said that they want to demolish. Gaza, flatten it, destroy it, uh, you know, kill all the people there. Like, this this is not like, this is just all, it's all available. You can look at it all. It's all in the, it's in the minutes of the, of the Knesset meetings, you know? Uh, I'm surprised they specify racism as a bannable offense. Yeah, but they'll be, they'll be talking about like, you know, anti-Semitism as, as their, um, definition of it, probably. Over here in America, it's practically a requirement. Well, I mean, you know, they're, they're definitely racist towards <laughs> towards a certain set of people, for sure. That's definitely true. Call for the elimination, extermination of Gaza. A minister who called to bomb Gaza with an ap- atomic bomb is too ignorant to understand that it really may influence Israel, too. Uh, the prime minister who referred to the people of Gaza as Amalek, which in the in the biblical sense, it's a people that deserve extermination. The president of the country signed a bomb. Yeah, that's right. He signed right. a bomb, a farewell, a bon voyage greeting on a bomb that statistically speaking may, may have been killed children. Yeah. Neither of them is going to be impeached it's normal. That's the dominant ex- uh, public discourse. But someone like me, who, who opposes any kind of violence of Hamas and of Israel, is going to perhaps be impeached. That shows to which bottom, to what abyss our society, unfortunately, and the Knesset deteriorated. I mean, that's like he's, you know, he's got this like analysis of uh, that thing you said at the end there, like the abyss at which society has fallen, right? And 
this is the this is the kind of society that you get when the entire society is is based on an imperialist colonialist project right that is that is the society that you get you know there's no there's no fall here you know there's no there's no fall from grace that's happened like that's what it has always been and I don't know, man. I, I understand what he's saying. I, I definitely understand what he's saying, but it's like you cannot get a society that's based on like love and acceptance and happiness and everybody getting their needs met, uh, you know, not based on their ability. It's like, you know, you just can't have that in, in, in a settler colonialist country. Country. What, what I want to ask you, I mean, you know, in South Africa's case, the second part deals with genocidal incitement intent. And <laughs> sure. that itself yes. is illegal. In order to show intent. Exactly. So in, in the 1948 Genocide Convention um, makes it clear that's a criminal act. Um, and signatories mm -hmm. have a duty, a legal duty, uh, to prosecute people who engage in genocidal intent. And I'm just interested in that, that atmosphere you just mentioned from Benjamin Netanyahu, as you say, Amalek, where God orders the killing of all men, women, and children, and sucklings, and livestock, uh, to human animals. To, I mean, it's just every day you just get, you know, that, that document's out of, out of date now. That section's out of date because there's been so much inside. Oh, I know, Ori, yeah, like the, the, the ideology. Zionism itself, strongman attitudes. Um, what Ori's saying there, in case anybody doesn't know, I did a I did a whole like fucking five hour stream on like the history of Zionism and Palestine and, and Israel. And like you you gotta you gotta check that out. And I'm not just tooting my own horn here because there's a lot of info in there. And it's like this is an this is an ideology that can only be settler colonialist at its heart. And it is also extremely anti-semitic and i'm not saying that like as a non-jew just my own like judgment whatever like i've spoke to multiple jewish people in my community uh you know we interviewed michael from jews against white supremacy on red planet um you know and there are multiple organizations that say like look this is it you know what i mean it's it's uh, uh, uh it's it the things that zionism says about diaspora jews who don't want to go to israel is anti-Semitic as fuck. Like, you could take some of the things that Theodore Herzl said um, about Jewish people in the diaspora, and you could change, yeah? You could change uh, the, the attribution to, to Adolf Hitler, and you would not know the difference. You would not know the fucking difference. It's, uh, it's really fucked up. You know? Uh, Val says, I've heard that's why they shit on Holocaust victims so much. It's a way to say we won't be weak like them or something. It's nasty. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, and this is the thing, like, there's so much, like, it, it, revisionism that goes on about, like, Holocaust survivors and Holocaust victims and shit like that, yeah? It's like, you you are trying to say that there was no resistance. Like, there are many famous stories of Jewish resistance to the Holocaust, and... You know, there was the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. There are loads. Of, there, are, there are examples of, like, absolutely, like, you cannot get more courageous and brave than some of the actions that, like, you know, Jewish people, Jewish women, you know what I mean, in, in, in Nazi Germany did in order to, like, fight against the Holocaust, like, literally acts of resistance that were so sacrificial uh, uh, and courageous that, like, you can't, you simply can't, like, put a... a it's hard to describe. It's genuinely hard to describe. Um, but um, I think that, you know, y the, the, way that, the way that they talk about Holocaust survivors and Holocaust victims in Israel, yeah, it, it, it's revisionist. It's completely revisionist, you know? Of course, like a lot of people who, um, you know, didn't know how to resist because they weren't educated. They weren't, they weren't told how to. They, you know, they didn't know that they could. They didn't know about other stuff. Of course, they, they couldn't, and they didn't, and they died. Yeah, but it's like, there were, there were definitely people that fought back. There were definitely strong people. There were some people that, like, escaped from Holocaust camps. You know what I mean? It's like, what are you talking about? So it's just it's just completely fucking disgusting. Um, you know, it's uh, it's one of those. It's one of those, basically. Edon665 says, five days before Iowa core curses. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Uh, anyone know what that chatter is talking about? Anyway. Uh, yeah, let's go on. And then, so just wondering, that does seem to be... Hey, Falk, how's it going? Good to see you. Well, yeah, doing right. my best. The, the rhetoric is, 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 is unbearable. And the, it dominates the public discourse and it dominates the government's discourse because Netanyahu is totally dependent upon the most fanatic uh, components of his government. Oh, you mean the caucuses? The Iowa caucuses? Hey, Gobs. Good to see you. Everybody go follow Goblin Hugger, by the way. They're amazing. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Iowa Caucus. Oh, good. Uh, got an API error over here on uh, on Twitch. So um, I'll do a, an actual Twitch shout out. So there you go, Gobs. You got it. You got it right there. Um, 2024 election live updates latest on the campaign trail. Yeah, we'll check out some of that stuff next week as it happens, you know? We got five days, so what's that? That's literally like, yeah, Monday next week, so. Yeah, just to play on words. Yeah, no worries, Edon. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, we'll talk, we'll talk, uh, do some reporting on that on Monday when it happens, yeah? Uh, let's not forget that there are three serious charges against Netanyahu and he, that he faces at trial. Uh, and bribery, for instance, he knows for sure that the chances of going to prison once uh, and if he's uh, uh, convicted are quite, uh, you know, uh, great, are quite high. You know, I am a prison abolitionist and I don't believe that anyone should go to prison. I think that prison is an inhumane thing. I don't think it changes anything about society. I don't think it keeps anyone safe. Um, but I do want to see Benjamin Netanyahu go to prison. <laughs> Pragmatically, it's the only place for him, really. Like, if we're going to be pragmatic, um, you know, in order for prison abolition to exist and take place, uh, you know, we have to dismantle a lot of systems that are already, unfortunately, still in place, and there's a lot of work to do that. Um, you know, so to achieve any kind of, like, non-carceral justice, you would have to dismantle those systems to begin with first, uh, or at least make a large attempt to do so. Um, the, the, but as things stand at the moment, we, we can't do that. So it's the best place for him, actually. Like, just put him away, put him in a gulag, uh, put him in the clockwork orange machine, re-educate him, <laughs> you know? He wants to do, he would do anything to refrain from going to prison. So he's actually under the total power and uh, control of the most fanatic and bigots in his mm. government, like mm -hmm. Smotrich, Ben Gvir and others. By the way, they're even worse than them. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, I don't know if the people know, but we are talking about people. Uh, ben Gvir uh, was convicted in Israel, you know, the uh, court in supporting terrorism. Yeah. He, and, uh, until uh, one year ago, and, uh, he had uh, in his living room a picture of Baruch Goldstein who massacred 29 Palestinians where, while they were praying in El Khalil, El Hebron. And he Fucking had a picture yeah, and course. referred to him as his hero. He didn't take it off the wall because he stopped agreeing with him, but because he knew that that very arm uh, is a uh, chances to become a minister or to stay right. as a minister. But yeah. his views are still the same. He supports genocide quite clearly and is the a national security minister is in charge. Of That's basically like having a picture of the fucking um, the, the, the Christchurch shooter on your wall or like Anton Brevik or something like that. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's that kind of like similar kind of like nature. It's just in incredibly fucked up, right? It's just incredibly fucked up. The police, the police, by the way, has become, has become an, a, a sort of a private militia of him, of his. Smotrich is a, a Jewish supremacist who, who, who believes ideologically that the Jewish race, as it were, of course, is a superior. He, uh, not too many years ago, said very explicitly... I love that he used, uh, you know, quotation marks there. He actually, like, understands that there can be, like, you know, Judaism is a religion. Like, I think everybody, like, fails to understand this. And uh, <laughs> this is like, you know, you could convert to Judaism tomorrow and be a Jewish person, and it's like... 
what at what point does that has that changed you from this to this you simply like think differently about uh potential ideological afterlife based thoughts like that's all that's changed like you've not you haven't like changed where you were from or where you were born or what your bloodline is or anything like that like it, it's just you know hey sasha how's it going that he refuses that his wife uh, will, uh, is going to give birth in a, or to be in a hospital, the same room with Arab women. So, and this is only the tip of the iceberg. They control the Israeli public discourse and they control Netanyahu. Uh, and that doesn't, by the way, say to say that Netanyahu bears no responsibility because he is under such a control. No, because eventually he chooses what to do small he bean uwu bean. bean so uh, he's for sure his guilt Netanyahu. So, uh, this is the atmosphere this is the atmosphere and uh, i must say that i put some of the blame on the international community that allowed this situation to emerge it could be stopped and it could be stopped ages ago if the international community and by the way britain is one of the main factors here by forcing Israel and the Palestinians. Okay, there's, to there's an emergency chat. There's an actual emergency. I'm, I'm not being serious, by the way. There's no. I know that people are worried about stuff that's going on in my life at the minute, but no, there's no emergency. But I have to show you something immediately. Fuck, I missed it. Fuck. I literally, like, so he started doing this thing. So Tom, yeah, it is Tom. That's right, Gumba. Yeah, it, it, Tom, Tom Emergency. So uh, he started doing this thing recently. And it's ever since me and Lena, we meditated on the bed together. And it's really fucking weird. I know, I know that everyone thinks I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, believing in ghosts and shit like that. Yes, I believe in ghosts. They're real. Uh, spirits, all that kind of stuff. Rare ter ter. I don't want to get into it, but it's just weird because he's never done this. Tom has like three places that he likes to hang out and sleep. Like one is the couch. Two is the, uh, he like jumps on top of one of the cupboards in the kitchen. And three is his little like carry case, you know? He also likes to sleep on his tree sometimes, but he does that less so uh, at the minute. But after we meditated on the bed, he started sleeping on the bed. It's so fucking weird. And he was like purring loads when we finished it. And he came and he like lay on the bed with us while we were doing it. It was really, really interesting. So he seems to seems to have some kind of effect on him. I don't know if he's noticed like the good vibes or whatever. But gradually, more and more and more and more. Yeah. He's been like sleeping in the bed a bit more. And I shit you not. I missed it. I should have took my fucking phone in the room with me. But he was on charge just there. He's fucking like tucked himself in. He's tucked himself in. Like he was in the bed. I've never seen anything like it. It's so fucking cute. Um, when DJ Mule ghost episode. I'll do a ghost episode if we like, I don't know. If you give me like, if you give me like 200 pounds. Not you particularly, Sasha, but like everybody in the chat. Um, yeah, it's absolutely adorable. Cats can sense that kind of energy, yeah. Maybe it's because the bed was just warm. No, this house is freezing, and he, he's continued to do it every day, like, after after we've done that, you know? It's one of the reasons that fake cat, fake, fake cat laptops exist. Yeah, cats love to mirror their people. That's true. That's true, that's true, that's true. Little baby. He's a little baby. I love him so much. Um... No ghosts for unemployed people. Yeah, you're not allowed. It's not It's not allowed. Whenever I stream about ghosts... Listen, this is my job, yeah? What you're asking me to do. This is like this is like going to like a chef, right? And saying, okay, at the same place where you do your job every day, instead of doing what gets you paid, uh, build Lego. And I'm like... I could do that, but again, I wouldn't get paid. So, you know... Anyway, that's the thing. Uh, let's talk about some stuff that's happened in the Twitch chat. Uh, it's worth remembering that the state of Israel determined Jewishness doesn't apply to, for example, black African Jews coming there as refugees. That's correct. Uh, definitely doesn't 
extend to uh, Arab Jews, uh, aka Mizrahi Jews, uh, the Jewish race is an explicitly white supremacist construct from every angle it's come to. That's very true. Uh, he doesn't follow commandments 6 and 10, that's for sure, definitely. Anyway, cat-like vibes. Cat-like vibes. Anyway, let's crack on. The occupation in rich and just peace. Everybody. Can't believe I missed that. Can't believe I didn't take a picture. Everybody who doesn't suffer from vacuum between his, one's ears knows that the only way to stop the bloodshed is by ending the occupation and the siege on Gaza. Even before now, we're talking about stopping the war. If we're talking about the tropical, you know, a situation, ending the war, exchange of prisoners, releasing the hostages, and, uh, and reaching a just peace without siege, which, without violence, without occupation. No other way. Unfortunately, the international community actually has been sacrificing the Palestinians and the Israelis together. There be they been say, the international community has been sacrificing. They, they it doesn't care at all to uh, 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 the, the lives about the lives neither of Palestinians nor of Israelis. Mm. That's a huge shame on the international community and mainly the United States. I mean, just just finally on that. I mean, I guess in terms of hope i suppose or something practical what would your plea be to those in states like britain or the united states i mean i think it's very interesting there's a new younger jewish left in the united states which is leading many of the struggles at the moment in support um, of peace and, and in solidarity with palestinians but also in terms of the future in terms of israel because you are the encapsulation of this great history of jewish humanism social justice and um, for which there wouldn't be a left. I say this a lot, but it's true. There wouldn't be a, a, a left on a global scale without the contribution of that Jewish tradition. Um, Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, in my view, I'm a, I'm a socialist, you know, and the, I'm a Marxist. And the, that's there it is. Marx mentioned you know, chat. Everyone drink identification. But I'm not delineated to Judaism. Self ID mentioned, self ID mentioned as well. Not in the religious sense. I'm totally atheistic. But uh, I am Jewish. And hey, I'm right, what's up? That. Good to see you. And uh, I am not delineated. In my view, the heritage of the prophets is mainly be a dissident. I mean, if, you, if we look at uh, Jeremiah, for instance, Isaiah, Amos, Amos, uh, and others, they actually were prophets against the ruler. They paid huge price. Like a moth, I've been attracted you know, to the mention of Marx. They stood against the kings. Once the kings behaved in an unjust manner. I think that uh, uh, in that sense, the real heritage and legacy of uh, early Judaism is justice, is equality. Of course, I have my own uh, criticism of other components of Judaism because they are terrible malicious components as well. I'm not idealizing uh, any kind of religion, and, uh, and, uh, neither Judaism nor others. Each and every religious, you know, uh, religion has its own uh, positive and negative ingredients, so to speak. But the basis of Judaism, in my view, of the prophets, the message of the four of the prophets is to seek justice. And I'm afraid that the uh, that the Judaism, that uh, religious, uh, that Jewish power party, or religious Zionism party, and others as individuals and other groups, the kind of Judaism they endorse and uh, and they follow is a deformed one. Mm. It is a twisted one. So my... This is, you know, this guy's an atheist. This is literally like the, the view of many other Jewish people who are anti-Zionist. Uh, I, can, I can never say their name right, but the Neutre Carter um, say the same thing. Um, Jews against white supremacy, Jewish voice for peace, New York. 
uh, and and other Jewish Voice for Peace uh, nationally in the US. Uh, I'm not sure about Namod in uh, the UK. Not sure about what they say, particularly about Zionism. I think like because there, there are some you know people who there are some Jewish people who like still think that like oh no Israel is our land and we should go and live there. Uh, we should just do it in a non-violent way, uh, which is arguably cool. Like I, I I think that like that could have been achieved if it weren't for the Zionists who went there in. Uh, you know, 1930, 1935, even earlier than that, I think. Uh, so, you know, it's just one of those. But like, again, like this is, this is, it's, this is not just like an atheistic opinion. This is a, a Jewish opinion. Um, so yeah, there you go. You can't be an American military base without an excuse to shit weapons over. Yeah, I mean, but also at the same time, like what you have to remember is that they, you know, Netanyahu and all the bigots who hate Arabs, uh, you know, over there in Israel, um, they're, they're, they're egged on by U.S. imperialists. Uh, they're supported by U.S. imperialists. It's, it's all about, you know, how can we, you know, fascism is fascism, but you don't really get fascism without at least a little bit of capitalism it's it, you know what i mean in terms of like the catalyst like why these things happen it's like okay so you know what do we want to do we want to do imperialism we want to make as much money as possible okay how do we do that we do that uh with you know by basically genociding people uh you know making people slaves um all this kind of stuff you know create an underclass in society where they get paid less um all this kind of stuff so you know if you're looking for like an actual answer as to like you know why why is israel massacring genociding palestinians there's your answer um you know zionism is a is a, a fascist ideology it's based in uh you know uh, it is white supremacy essentially because the you know you want to call it Jewish supremacy, but the majority of Jewish people who went to Palestine um, were from Germany. They were from Europe. They were all white. You know what I mean? Hey TTK, what's up? There's a parallel universe where Palestine could have been a multi-ethnic, multi-religious country. You know, like it was before Zionists arrived. Yeah, it's impossible by instituting Israel as a colonial project. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, exactly that. Struggle personally speaking, alongside my struggle for, uh, 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 of course, justice is also to say, you know, save, as it were, the Judaism from the claws of those who deform it. And by the way, I must say, this is another thing which is very important for me. My signature, for instance, with which we, we are dealing mainly, is not against Israel, is against the government of Israel. It's because the government of Israel is against Israel and against the Israelis. I consider myself to be fighting for justice, but justice is for all, is also for Israelis. And in uh, in contrast to many be who believe that there is a kind of zero sum game between hey, Rats, the Israelis okay, welcome and the Palestinians, in. the Arabs and the Jews in the in the land, as if if one side wins, the other loses. And vice versa, as, as opposed to that, I believe that it's a, either a win-win situation or a lose-lose situation. Either both peoples win, that means peace, security, prosperity, liberation, democracy, justice, or both peoples lose, go to hell if you like. Those are the two alternatives. And because of that, it's also the interest of the international community because this war, if it goes on, if it doesn't stop, everybody knows that it's not going to stop there between Israel and, 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 and Hamas or Israel against Gaza. It's going to spread. It already began to spread to the north. And good that this guy knows that like the, the whole of Gaza is not like necessarily in Hamas. Uh, that's like a good admission as well. Like this guy's saying the, the most base things that he could say. I think you know, a war with the uh, with the uh, Hezbollah <clears throat> going to be the death toll is going to be much worse mm. than we've been that the Palestinians have, uh, especially have been suffering from in the last three months, and of course Israel too. It's the worst massacre that the Israelis uh, have been suffering ever since Israel uh, was established. It's going to be much worse. We are talking of 
thousands, tens of thousands of Israelis, Lebanese, Palestinians, who, are, who may be killed, and they, I'm not talking about the destruction, etc. If a full-fledged war is going to begin in the north, but if uh, the international community doesn't stop that, it will happen, and then Iran is going to get into the business, and then the United States and the EU, we are on a brink of a serious threat of a world war. So it's the interest of the international community, not only for justice, or although for me it's the main thing, but it's a, all. It's also, you know, so to speak, out of real politic. Mm -hmm. It's the interest of the international community to get involved and stop the war and lead the region to real peace. There's a chance, but we do need you. That's also the interest of Israel. It's very important mm -hmm. for me to say. Of Palestinians and of Israel as well. And I, I wish we get there soon because the alternative is a total destruction on a, on a global scale. Yeah. Offer, it's been such a privilege and you're quite correct. Throughout history, those who often stand up against horrible violence and injustice and oppression often vilified and attacked and ostracized and threatened at the time. But they end up being vindicated by history and those who vilify and attack them often end up damned. And I, I think it's pretty obvious how this one's going to pan out. I don't really think it needs uh, to be, you don't need to be a prophet to work out how this one um, evolves. Look, I, I have to say, I'm not a prophet, but let's not forget that as opposed to many Israelis, Netanyahu is not a king. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Very good way to end, I think. Um, it's a huge honor. Please, for everyone who's watching or listening to this, do share the. He's video. A sweet man, he's got very kind eyes. I enjoyed. I enjoyed listening to that. I think. I think this guy's great. Um, yeah, he's always. You know, it's hard to find someone with really, really good politics, uh, especially in like the actual, like, uh, uh, you know, um, the actual Knesset, because of course it's just full of like completely vile individuals who want to murder every arab in the world um so yeah you know it's uh that was kind of nice that was kind of nice to see uh so yeah i hope everyone is doing all right uh chat this is your reminder um that i do this for money this is my job as i mentioned earlier uh please consider if you are able subbing off twitch um it means that i can pay my bills it means that i can pay my rent it means that i can get food feed myself all that kind of stuff buy myself nice little outfits and what have you um and yeah it's uh, uh, uh you know it's my main form of income i got my patrons uh i also got my uh i don't know um what else do i got uh... I got my I got my union money that comes through because I do work for the union, uh, but this is the main chunk of my money that I kind of need uh, in order to get my living costs met. Uh, so please consider just donating five pound. I know you're on if you're on YouTube, it's going to be confusing me saying sub off Twitch. Um, I would also encourage you to sub off YouTube. I don't want anyone becoming like a channel member. I've not enabled that anyway. Um, so please consider clicking on the link in the chat uh, under the sub off Twitch command uh which basically you know takes you to the tip link page it'll show up it'll give you a nice little uh, alert on screen to say that you've donated and you've given me money um we are going to be watching this weekend i've still got to organize the event thing in the discord um you we're going to be watching porco rosso and hiruko the goblin so very very exciting this weekend movie night saturday night 6 p.m uk time be there or be square um we're gonna unlock another double feature movie night if we hit the middle of 500 pound which is 250 pound before monday which would be the middle of the month uh so please consider that it's going to be very, very fun, very, very cool. We always watch very cool movies, very, very nice movies uh, that have a message and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's that, basically. Um, yeah, please consider subbing off Twitch. Yeah, we've got lots of other uh, incentives as well uh, for next month. Next month, if we hit the £500, me and Lena will be doing a couch stream where we play some retro games uh and we'll just be like chatting away everybody enjoyed 
me and Lena playing Tetris on the cooking stream. If you've not seen the cooking stream, by the way, become a patron to uh, to uh, go ahead and uh, check that out. And uh, that's that, basically. Uh, I think I could do a Discord link in the in the YouTube chat. I'm not entirely sure, but if you're not in the Discord and you're in... Yeah, there you go. If you're not in the Discord and you're in the YouTube chat, check it out. Go ahead and join. Um, it does mean... I know that TTK is in the chat now, so just so you know, TTK, we're going to have to, like, change things now that I've started streaming on YouTube. We're going to have to, like, try and, like, you know... Um, what do you call it? Uh... uh find a different way to like approve of people coming into the discord i don't know uh but yeah that's that uh but please join the discord that'd be really really cool and also please check out my socials please signal boost the stream tell everyone that i'm live tell your friends tell your mom tell your dad all that kind of stuff um so what we got here Sombro says dj do you allow people with different opinions and beliefs into your community if they're nice uh, I only allow people with opinions and beliefs in my community if those opinions and beliefs are nice. Um, why? What is your different opinion and or belief? Because I would probably say that I would allow liberals to anarchists. Like, that's like the amount of people that I would li allow in my community. Um, you know... I don't know what, I don't know what, you'll have to tell me, like, what your different opinion or belief is before, you know what I mean, I make that decision. Is thinking something a bannable offense what I'm saying? No. How am I going to know what you're thinking? Like, it's completely absurd. Like, what, you, what do you mean? What does that even mean? Thought crime, not allowed, by the way. Famously, famously, it's 1984 in my server. No. <laughs> Got that Twitch thought plugin. Yeah, I'm constantly, I'm constantly reading other people's thoughts. Don't you dare think about spaghetti. Otherwise, you're fucking banned. I like owning guns, but I'm left-leaning as well. There's literally nothing wrong with that at all. Like, I don't know why you'd think that I would, like, not be down for people owning guns. Like, completely fine. Completely based, actually. To own... Oh! To, uh, to own a weapon. That's offensive to me, actually. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's offensive to me, actually, in that you think that I would be, like, a fucking liberal. I'm not a fucking liberal. Yeah, we're, <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not fucking liberals here. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Incredible news. Yeah, don't e don't even worry about it. You know. Hey, little Miss F, what's going on? Good to see you. Yeah, if you're like thinking, le yeah, a, a good point. If you're thinking lesbians are bad, yes, that would be bad uh, to think that. Uh, yeah, appreciate the look. No worries. No worries at all. Um, hell, if I was fucking like uh, uh, in the U in the UK uh, in the US, I would absolutely have a gun. Like, are you joking me? Big Steph fan says there is nothing wrong with being a liberal. Oh, you've you've got a you've got a lot to learn. You've uh, got a lot to learn. Obviously, not a stream for you then. And you can you can be here. But, you know, if, if, if you're gonna, like, you know, try and tell us that voting is, like, you know, the, the, the best thing that you can do and you've just got to vote for the Democrats and vote blue no matter who and Joe Biden is great and anyone who criticizes Biden is bad, um, you're actually an idiot and that's the end of it. So you want the end of democracy? See, this is what it is. Yeah, no, you, you're not welcome here. Yeah, you're not welcome here because you don't know what you're fucking talking about. This is incredible, absolutely incredible. Like as soon as soon as soon as like as soon as I said this shit here. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. Like you are, you're literally like fucking. I want the end of democracy. What are you fucking talking about? My opinion is I don't like voting. Based the person who was worried that they were gonna get banned for saying that is more welcome here than fucking you. Being like, you want the end of democracy because you don't like liberals. You don't like Joe Biden. Blah, 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 blah. 
What is wrong with you, man? You've been fucking, like, brainwashed. The American government is not good. There's nothing good about it. They will not save you. You know? Like, come on, do us a favor. The Republican Party is now a fascist party. What do you mean now? Like, this is what annoys me about liberals so much. This is what annoys me about liberals so much. They're like, the Republican Party is now a fascist party. Both parties, both parties are fascist parties. They always have been. There's no now. There's no difference between what they were doing back in the fucking day to now. From the moment that the natives were genocided, yeah, to today, nothing has changed. You're, you're getting, like, so fucking mad. You're out here, you're like, bull fucking shit, getting mad that, like, you know, I disagree. Okay, yeah, see you later, dude. You're a fucking idiot. Do you know what I mean? Fuck you. TYT Cheng for president. Yeah, I reckon that guy, like, unironically believes that. Incredible. Absolutely fucking incredible. Thanks for the follow. There's a way to disagree and there's a way to be a jerk about it. That person would have been fine to stay. That person would have been fine to stay if they weren't, like, being such a baby about it. Like, literally a baby. Literally a baby. Hey, Connor, what's up? Yeah, yeah, on YouTube today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twitch and YouTube today. Hey, co-host, good to see you. Welcome in. Some other people uh, came in during that. Rat Freak, how's it going? Aslan, good to see you. Can I get a shout out for Aslan, please, TTK? It wasn't immediate. Like, it's so embarrassing. Like, people are so genuinely, like, brain poisoned about the, uh, the US electoral system, you know? Sombro, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Um, Connor's a wanker and not me. Oh, so you're Connor in... Okay, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You're Connor in the YouTube chat. I love how, like, there's, like, two people making making it seem like I've got way more viewers than I have, which is really cool, by the way. Thanks for doing that, everybody. Um, <laughs> uh, people are, like, posting, like, watching on YouTube. They're in the YouTube chat and the Twitch chat. The combination YouTube-Twitch chat. Uh, anyway, yeah, that was the uh, spiel for please give me money. So please consider giving me money. Uh, I need it to live. I need it to survive. It would be really good if I got some money. Uh, I've done all that. Uh, that was interrupted by uh, a baby. Um, and um, yeah, no worries. Take it easy, Sumbro. Yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, yeah, I was interrupted by a baby. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the toilet. Chat, if you've not already... Go and look after yourself. Um, and uh, somebody briefly, that was some good, uh, uh, excellent entertainment. Uh, give me some ideas in mod chat or DM me for the TCK defense system. Yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. Well, just have a think about it. Have a think yourself as well, like how, how we could like make sure that people on YouTube are able to get in and stuff like that. Like if, if there's a way for us to be able to like check, maybe just have people like do their YouTube name. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to. It's hard to figure it out. Uh, but that's that anyway. Um, uh, to be fair, that is kind of how it goes. The whole capitalism thing, he goes hard on the whole. Don't you dare imagine that things could be slightly different. So the poor guy isn't alone. Yeah, no, no, I know, I know, I know. It's capitalist realism, isn't it? Yeah, that's what it is. It's capital. People are stuck in capitalist realism. You know. I love how the guy was like, I'm not, you are. Like, call it calling me brainwashed. When it's like, no, yeah, the, the difference between me and you, actually, is that I can admit that I was brainwashed previously. You know? That's that, really. Um, anyway, sorry, yeah, as I was saying, I'm gonna go to the toilet real quick. Chat, make sure, if you've not already, take your meds, stretch your legs, stretch your body, uh, go to the toilet yourself, hydrate, eat some food if you've not already, get a snack, ta ta ta. Um, I'll be back in a sec, and we will be watching some more stuff. I believe we've got next coming up. Let me take a real quick look, and I'll tell you exactly what it is. Uh, we got some positive leftist news. 
So there you go. You got that to look in to look forward to. I'll be back at a tip. Yo, what's that? Little Miss F, thank you so much. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Thank you so much for the three pound, Franny. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. Thank you so much for supporting the stream and subbing off Twitch. Uh, KJ Doglove says, I heard you kicked out a friend of mine for spitting facts. What a loser you are. Uh, yeah, I'm also kicking you out uh, because I know that you're going to be a loser as well. Goodbye. What do you think? What do you think? Like, what do you think is going to happen, bro? Anyway, I'll be back in a sec. Tom's uh, being very polite. He's very, very polite. He's learned very, very quickly that, like, meowing incessantly doesn't get him food. That's been really, really nice. Um, but now what he does is it's really cute is he'll sit very politely. Um, and uh, if he doesn't, like, um, uh, uh, get his food after sitting politely for some time, then he'll start meowing incessantly chats on the green screen trace nas well yeah it's just behind me right it's just literally like yeah i got a cat do you want to see him we have a little tom moment let's get tom let's get tom involved let's get him involved um so normally i don't show the tom cam unless we get like 50 pounds of subs in a day uh, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling nice. I'm feeling, uh... Oh, what's going on? Wait a second. Tom's MVP, most valued pussycat. He is the most valued pussycat, isn't he? Little smelly boy, stinky boy. Uh, I want that. Uh, why is it not fucking working? What's going on? getting uh the webcam's not working i don't know what's happened oh, oh there it is oh and now i've stopped working okay yeah very cool it's very cool that my stream just like decides not to work aslan cato blush cato blush thank you so much for the 17 months adam with the six pound dono bring forth the boy bring forth the boy he's coming He's coming very soon. Thank you very much for the six pound. Thank you for subbing off Twitch. Thank you for supporting the stream. Uh, don't worry, chat. It's all good. I'm back. I'm back. There we go. Uh, right. The boy. Let's... Oh, that's me. Uh... Let's get him. Let's go get him. Hey, Layla, what's up?
Come on, baby boy. Oh, oh you know what to do. He knows what's coming. Oh. Yeah. Hi. Thanks for the follow. You're a little baby boy, aren't you? You're a little baby boy. You're gonna show everyone how well behaved you are. What a baby boy. <laughs> Very well behaved. So clever. Can I have both? There you go. Very good and cute. Tell me two times. Literally a little two times, Tom. Now, have you noticed how hench he is, by the way? Look at his muscle. Come on, let's shake that hand. Good boy. Aren't you? Are you going to sit there and be nice? Fucking ripped, isn't he? Absolute fucking ripped. Small baby boy. Right, if you stay there and be good, you can have some more. <clears throat> Cats with guns, yeah. You're a good little lad, aren't you? Hey, eh? I've got no more. That's it. That's the end. That's it. You look directly at the camera. What's this? You're a beautiful boy. I can't believe you were all tucked up in my bed. He was all he was all tucked up in his bed. Well, in my bed. Literally. You're doing a lot of purring, aren't you? Hey? You're doing a lot of purring. He's gonna come on the desk now and investigate. Try and find the rest of the the rest of the treats. Um, what's the ICC about, may I ask? Uh, yeah, so the International Criminal Court, um, South Africa have had a, uh, a, 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 a case brought against Israel. They brought a case against Israel, sorry. Um, so yeah, that's uh, very interesting. International Cricket Council. Anyway, chat, listen, we're doing positive leftist news. It's very exciting. Uh, I'm very happy to be bringing you this. Uh, there are no content warnings for this other than uh, hopium overdose. So please, please, please get ready. We're going to be watching it. Now, I want you all to go to positive leftist news, and I want you to subscribe, uh, give money, all that kind of stuff. Oh, what's happened? Oh. Uh, excuse me, and uh, we will be checking it out. Thank you for the Tom interlude. It's my pleasure. He's now uh, looking at the uh, the screen. Look, it's a mouse. I know. He's uh, he doesn't really come on the desk that much. You stay away from there, young boy, because those are dreamies, and that's for me to look after. And for you to be a good boy and not steal. We apologize for interrupting your doom scrolling. Now, for some positive. More Manima, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Small baby boy. What's going on, everybody? This is FD Signifier, and welcome it's to FD the It's FD on Positive Leftist News. News. I am really happy to be here because the last few years of. YouTube fake fame has really developed a different ethos around my politics. I was talking to a peer uh, just a couple of days ago about how bad things seem to be and kind of my frustration toward the way that I'll say popular 
views and opinions towards addressing hey echo baz how you doing tend to be self-serving and sometimes myopic and they stopped me in my tracks and reminded me that being myopic and cynical and doomerist around certain issues is in and of itself a privilege it, it is, is it's a privilege is only of use to the status quo and those who we are trying to defeat and so to follow that up with an opportunity to present positive news around leftist issues brings me a lot of joy. It, it helps cleanse the palate and lets me hopefully remind you all, just like my peer reminded me, that there's so much good going on and there's a ton- More anonymous says, are you leftist? No, I'm bisexual actually. Around solving the issues that we all see today. I'm so, polyamorous. Let's get started. Amid Israel's ongoing genocide- I've got ADHD. Solidarity protests for Palestine have continued across the world this month. In the U.S. Been watching so much FD lately, based. Solidarity with Palestinian people. Demonstrations took place in cities including Philadelphia, Cleveland, New York, Houston, and Portland. In New York, for example, thousands were- FD did a get stream interview with Mark Lamont Hill a few weeks ago. Who's Mark Lamont Hill, sorry? You killed today. And Genocide Joe has got to go. The police initially attacked protesters, but they were not deterred, forcing the police- Oh, that's good to hear, Baz. the way to allow further gathering space. Protests included poetry sessions, youth-led marches, and disruptions at public events. They demanded he, a chat, He's like rubbing himself on the mic arm, I can't. And denounced the ongoing genocide in Palestine. Tell me too. Countless was, other demonstrations please. have kept the momentum up globally this month. Cypriots hit the streets in droves in solidarity with Palestine. Can you hear him? In a can, can, can you hear him purring? On December 3rd, denouncing the genocidal war in Gaza and demanding an end to the Israeli occupation. Professor and author working at Al Jazeera right now. Oh, cool. Party of Working People and the Pan Cyprian Peace Council. Speakers highlighted the U.S. allegiance with Israel as an act of imperialism and vowed to continue support for Palestine until a lasting ceasefire and peace are achieved. In Canada, pressure has been mounting from Palestinian and Jewish anti-Zionist organizations, along with other civil society organizations. More Amanima in the chat says, I have to warn you, I am a centrist. Oh no! Oh no, my only weakness, an idiot! Organizations, 268 of which signed a joint statement urging a ceasefire. This plus endorsements from unions, certain politicians, and a parliamentary e-petition. Oh no! <laughs> that received 286, 700,000. There's an idiot who's never been outside in my chat. I can't believe it. And signatures, making it the most popular in parliament's history, led the state to finally see to popular pressure and vote for the UN. Thank you. Th <laughs> thank you for the, thank you for the warning. I wasn't prepared. A ceasefire. For two months, Canada has refused to do so. The call for an arms embargo is now supported oh, by the NDP, which was also the result of the unrelenting pressure from activists in all sectors. In late November, community organizations in the UK intensified their support for Palestine by blockading three arms supply companies involved in providing weapons to Israel. Activists targeted Megat in Birmingham, Leonardo in Bristol, and BAE Systems in Leeds. All contributed. Yeah, this was so based. I was so fucking close to going and uh, taking part in the one that was going to Lancashire. Uh, but I wanted to like take a bunch of people from the union and the people who were organizing it, they had like a thing to fill out and they weren't they weren't being very like honest about where all the information was going and why it needed to be on there and I didn't want to like put anyone in any danger because it's like for me yeah you don't need to like sign up and put all your details on a form in order to go and do an action I think that's like a bit sus especially with like you know the way that um, the government has been treating people who support Palestine. You got Paul Commission and Medical Aid for pa uh, Palestinians and the Council for Arab British Understanding found that 71% of the British public believe that it should be an, e an immediate ceasefire. Yeah, it's not even an, a, a, a controversial thing. It's not even controversial, you know? Um, that's it, really, isn't it? ...to Israeli aircraft components used in Gaza bombings. The main organizer of the blockades, ACORN, the British Tenants Union and Housing Rights Platform. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. ACORN is not the British Tenants Union. 
Where have they got this information from? What are they fucking talking about? Dilly! Dilly's in the chat. Thank you so much for the £10. What's going on? Everybody, please go follow Diligent Fingers. Uh, he is my good friend. Uh, excellent producer, DJ, DMB, hip hop artist. Please go show him some love. Thank you so much for the £10. Thank you for subbing off Twitch. Thank you for supporting the stream, Dilly. I have a feeling that maybe I might be seeing you this Saturday. Don't know. Uh, obviously, more details to follow. Um, yeah, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Thank you so much for the support. The denial of basic rights to Palestinians and demanded an immediate ceasefire. Israeli military withdrawal from Gaza and an end to the occupation. Progressive groups, despite government apathy and right-wing provocations, have been continuously rallying for Palestine, drawing hundreds of thousands of people to the streets on multiple occasions. Workers in Palestine... Keep fighting the good fight, bro. You know it, dude. Palestinian trade unions, we don't give up. We won't give up. Acorn ...and other groups in the UK saying decisive action against the arms trade with Israel, such as that taken by Acorn, are critical to ending Israeli impunity. In this difficult time, our hope is an in international solidarity from trade and community unions. Keep on taking actions and speaking up against injustice. Together, we can build a better world for all. United Auto Workers with over 400,000 active members became the largest union in the U.S. to call for a ceasefire thus far. The United Auto Workers are now amongst... So there is a, a, a Mondo Weiss article that is um, really important and really good. Um, and... Um, it's, it talks about how the UAW is calling for a ceasefire whilst also, like, making some of the bombs that are being used in, in Gaza. So it's like, you know, the, the, the sort of, like, hypocrisy there is a little bit annoying. But someone in the chat on Monday said that the UAW, I think it was Falk, actually, that the UAW have actually said that they're going to, like, start to blacklist these parts or something. So I don't know. I don't know how accurate that is. I don't know if you have any more information for me about that. Uh, whoever it was. Um, so yeah, please let me know. Anyway, gotta head off again. Time to put on pants. All right, Layla. See you later. Thanks for being Several here. Several labor unions calling for a ceasefire, including teachers' unions such as the Boston and Chicago teachers' unions, and the United Food and Commercial Workers Local 3000, and the United Electoral Radio and Machine Workers of America. The EU initiated statement endorsed by the affirmation unions read, we cannot bomb our way to peace. It's the labor movement's turn to make unions for ceasefire now. Let's go. That's ceasefire. fucking based as hell. Together we can stand for hell yeah. justice and a better future for working people everywhere. Oh, that's so not even one of the worst the fucking pictures of Gaza. San Francisco have taken this even further, demanding not only a ceasefire, but the cessation of the U.S. aid to Israel. UESF affirms that the goal of a ceasefire is to put an end to the killing of innocent civilians and an end to the suffering and trauma of the people of Gaza. After a decades-long alliance with the Democratic Party, the UAW's position underscores a deviance from the political norm in labor politics. Mm -hmm. Despite staunch criticism from Democratic leadership, the UAW stands firm in advocating for a ceasefire. And yeah, it's so funny. This is literally, it's literally like, oh yeah, um, you know, we got, we got Joe Biden to come down to the picket line, uh, but we also think he's a genocidal piece of shit. <laughs> I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that when we were literally like watching that stream where Joe Biden went down to a UAW picket line and was like, I remember when I was on the picket lines in 1967 and it's, we were there like, what, doing what? Shooting people? I don't understand. What, what are you talking about, bro? You never had to strike for anything in your fucking life. You know, U.S. policy towards the conflict, seeking tangible fucking corn pop, over empty rhetoric from politicians. As the new UAW president, Sean Fang, stated, our endorsements are going to be earned. I am proud that the UAW International Union is calling for a ceasefire in Israel and Palestine. From opposing fascism in World War II to mobilize against apartheid South Africa and the Contra War, the UAW has constantly stood for justice across the globe. <laughs> Such a Three major confederations in France, CGT, FSU, and Solidaires led mass protests over three consecutive weekends in November, advocating for an immediate ceasefire. He was there being even more respect. openly racist With than he is now, yeah. Provided by That's CGT, right. 60,000 people marched in Paris accompanied by 40,000 elsewhere in France. 
the union coalition plans to continue organizing demonstrations, rejecting President Emmanuel Macron's ceasefire proposal as insufficient. Hell yeah. Hi everyone, it's Mexi jumping in with some last minute wins. And an incredibly powerful act of anti-imperialist solidarity with besieged Palestinian people. The government of Yemen has effectively shut off all shipping to and from Israel in the Red Sea by targeting commercial vessels linked to the apartheid state. So far, two ships were boarded and rerouted to the port of Hodaida. One remains in captivity, and the other has since been released. I don't know if this was the Yemeni government. I don't think it was the Yemeni government. I think this was just, like, Houthi rebels. Like... I just want to- I just want to fact check that real quick. US and UK navies repel largest Houthi attack on Red Sea. Oh shit, this was literally today. Uh, <clears throat> is that Rebecca Watson? Wait, who? Okay, see you later, Layla. Thanks so much. Uh, more Amanima says, I think we should just let them fight it out between themselves, but let's be honest, Rishi Sunak won't stop the bombing because his wife will be able to make cash off the natural gas fields. Right, you're so close to being based, right? You're absolutely right. That's why Rishi Sunak won't do anything. It's all because of capitalism and shit like that. But, like, there's nothing funny or good or clever about saying let them fight it out between themselves you're talking about the world's most powerful imperialist colonialist army and guys with like rockets that are like 50 years old still from the first intifada do you know what i mean like you you, you know there's no, there's no, like, let them fight it out between themselves going on here. There's, like, an oppressive, genocidal, apartheid force and very fucking weak, you know, uh, 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 people who are being oppressed. Like, it's, it's not even close. But, like, you're very close. Do you know what I mean? You're very, very close to getting it because, yes, you're right. Nobody wants um, any kind of, like, anything to do with it, any establishment politician in the UK or the US or any, any other place in the Imperial Corps because of the capital element, because of the, the, the monetary element, the financial gains we had, exactly like you say, natural gas fuel. Yeah, fair point. Right, exactly. Thank you. You know, it's it, this is it, right? Um, <clears throat> Rebecca Watson, the main target of Elevator Gate. She's sort of a YouTube feminist legend. Uh, that is not... Are you talking about who's talking now? Because it's not um, you know, it's not fucking, uh, thingy. This isn't Rebecca Watson talking, it's Mexi. Um, I'm not gonna go off on one about Yemen, it's extremely complicated. I mean, yeah, sure, like, I'm happy to, to be corrected, I don't know anything about it, but, like, uh, you know, I don't know if it's the, you know, the, the, the government so it depends on who you ask is what you're saying. So like, if someone's saying that the, the Houthis are the government, that's like the disputed thing in the, in, in Yemen. Right. Okay. Gotcha. I think I'm, I think I'm picking up what you're putting down there. Uh, anyway. East. So far, there is no evidence of mistreatment of captives. Another nine commercial vessels were struck with low-yield missiles, causing minimal damage, but enough to deter major shipping companies from trying to reach or depart from Israel via the Red Sea. These firms include... C it's so incredibly, like, interesting. I'm just thinking about the Acorn thing that was mentioned a couple of, a couple of minutes ago. Like, Acorn, they're not a union, they're an NGO. Right, they're, they're, they're like a charity. That's what they're registered as. Um, they may even be a limited company. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not really sure, but like, uh, you know, listen, Acorn is a massive fucking company. Um, they are very interested in doing some leftist stuff, but they're also very, very badly managed and a lot of their branches don't know what's going on. There's lots of problems with Acorn. I could spend all day fucking talking about it, but like, it's now making sense to me why there was a form that people had to like fill in and, uh, uh, you know, be, be sort of like, you know, have all your information on there and shit. Because if there's one thing that Acorn loves to do, it's cold call people and ask them to, to sign up to Acorn and become a member. Uh, because they're very interested in those member submissions. Anyway, 
so it's now making sense to me like why that was a thing and i'm glad that i questioned it because the last fucking thing i want is anyone from fucking acorn phoning me um anyway other than that an american called them the Houthinis ones what the fuck Anyway, uh, hey, right, acid, how's it going? The slow response to all the vile shit Israel has said themselves about the genocide has been tired of the world. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, you know, I, I, was all, I was already tired of the world before that. Like, it was al already very obvious. The thing is, is that if you know about the situation in Palestine and you've been following it for years and years and years, yeah, um, then you know, you would know that actually, like, it's a very doom-pilling thing to think about the Palestinian apartheid in, 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 you know, what is known as Israel. Because it's like, are we getting some progress on the support of Palestine apart from the call-out of the SA? Right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, this is, this is in terms of, like, you know... Israel has always acted outside of the realm of international law and justice, right? They don't care about that. They never have. And so it is always very doom-pilling. If you know about this, you know, if you know about, like, the Palestinian situation, if you know about what's going on there, um, it's always like, well, fucking, if they wanted to, Israel could just wipe Palestinians off the map whenever they wanted to. And to see it happen was no less upsetting. I'm not trying to say that, like, I, because I understood that, um was less affected by what was going on in Gaza. it was almost like a this is my worst fears happening in front of my eyes um that i've always thought about in terms of this conflict uh, not conflict this 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 genocide and apartheid so you know it's one of those things but i do understand what you're coming from i do understand where you're coming from um you know it's uh it's upsetting but uh you know we've got this international criminal court thing going on now um there are, there are various different groups in that part of the world that are fighting israel you got hezbollah you got the houthis just as we're talking about here in the chat um yeah the houthis are historically the group with the best claim to legitimacy as government but they are shia shia not sunni uh, and therefore allied with iran uh, but they control parts of the north of yemen oh okay i'm with you lately yeah 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 but they don't get to be a government because the saudis hate them passionately right okay i'm with you yeah 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 does Israel recognize the ICC? Well, they're going to defend themselves at the ICC, so I think they do, yeah. It's one of the main examples of once you take off the rose-tinted glasses, you begin to see all the blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it is. That's how I feel about it, yeah. Genuinely how I feel about it. Anyway, sorry, Rat Acid. I didn't mean to, like, come down on you like that, but, you know, it's, uh... You know, we must, we must be... We must be strong in terms of, like... We're not in Gaza right now, and we have to understand that privilege, right? We have to be aware of it, and we have to use that to our advantage and do our best that we can in terms of, like, how we talk to people, how we spread the message, how we keep talking about, you know, don't stop talking about Palestine, don't stop talking about it. You didn't feel that? Okay, yeah, no worries. Yeah, good, good. I didn't want, I didn't want you to feel like, you know, I'm attacking you or anything like that. It's not. It's an understandable position. Uh, it's just that we have to, like, we have to, we have to look at it, you know, for for... For what it is. All right, Layla. Thanks so much for explaining that. I appreciate that. Yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Take care. Uh, that implies, yes, America doesn't. So I kind of expected Israel not to either. I mean, I don't know. Like, if 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 America ever had to go to the ICC, I know that, like, it, it's it's in some kind of... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like, there's some kind of executive thing, emergency thing there yeah israel is not a member and disputes the icc's jurisdiction right okay okay well it speaks to how guilty they are actually that they're going to the icc to make a statement yeah the hague invasion act yeah you know it sasha yeah yeah they, they, they would invade the hague if any um yeah They've signed up to the genocide convention and hadn't complained about Article 9. Well, this is the thing. Like, they have to go... This is this is the thing. This is the problem when you try to do a genocide whilst also claiming that you're being genocided, right? So you, you can't not sign the genocide convention and, you know, you can't be above that law 
but like it, you know you're gonna go ahead and do genocide it's just one of those things it's just like such a, an awful 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 hypocritical contradictory fascist nonsense it's it's awful it's absolutely awful dh robinson euronav evergreen frontline maersk ocean network express and others as a result economic activity in the israel oh no i think you're right right i said yeah i think they are gonna 85 percent they're gonna stall and they're gonna do also see they're being represented by alan dershowitz you know alan dersh dershowitz sorry who like you know he he represented oj simpson you know weird intimidation bullshit yeah i think you're right manic yeah i think it is gonna be that I think it is going to be that. Palestinian people, their religious yeah, Epstein's buddy, you know. Humanitarian duty. In defense of Israel's ongoing genocide, America attempted to put together an international coalition to counter Yemeni action in the Red Sea. But having no solid plan to accomplish this, the pledged contributions of other countries include such weak efforts as single vessels with few personnel, with some Western states refusing to participate altogether. What better evidence is there of the age of American hegemony coming to an end? Along with Malaysia forbidding any ship owned by or linked to Israel from docking in their country, and the closure of diplomatic relations by various countries, the international anti-Zionist movement is clearly gaining momentum every day. There is yeah, no something like that. Stop this something like that, Sasha. Yeah, forcing Israel to end their brutal occupation. After weeks of relentless protests condemning the genocide, the accusing it as genocide is anti-Semitic. Yeah, unanimously passed a resolution demanding an immediate ceasefire in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The resolution urged for the release of hostages, unrestricted humanitarian aid, entry into Gaza, and garnered strong support from the public, backed by 86%. I think that I think the thing is, is that like I think people who have just sort of like started really looking at the actual situation in Palestine, the way that people like that are looking at this is completely different to like the way that I'm looking at this and other people who've been following it for years and years and years. Um, Israel Palestine was one of my biggest politicizing moments. Just so everybody is clear, like, literally, like, heard about it over ten years ago, and was immediately like, "That sounds really fucked up. Why are they getting away with that?" Um, and then learn all about the, you know, oh, it's anti-Semitic. They they say it's anti-Semitic, blah, blah blah blah. So they do all this, and like, I didn't know too much about it, but I learn and learn and learn and learn and learn. But I think the difference between me, the way I'm looking at it, and the way that other people are looking at it, is that, like, there have already been millions of, of Palestinians killed by this situation, whether by famine, whether by, like, being forced into refugee status in the Nakba, um, all this kind of stuff. You know, there, there's already been so many deaths, so many murders. Maybe not millions, I don't know. I don't know the real number, but, like, when you, when you think about what's been happening, it's hard to not imagine millions and at least hundreds of thousands um you know the way that i see it and this is like a drop in the ocean really of the blood that's been spilled in the name of the state of israel and but what i am seeing which is what i never thought i'd see and it's it's almost it's almost close to tears when i th when i think about it is the sheer amount of support for palestine uh, palestinians and and Gaza, uh I never thought I'd see this many people all over the world, the most public opinion all over all over the world is like, what is happening is wrong. I never thought I'd see that. I genuinely, I was very fucking doom-pilled about it. Do you know what I mean? So it, for me, it, it's actually like a really positive development. I'm not saying that all the people that have been killed is a positive development at all. What I am saying is like, Oh my God, people are actually waking up to it. You know, people are waking up to it. I never thought that would happen because it's been such a crime. It's been such a fucking crime against humanity for all these decades. Uh, uh, you know, it's crazy. Like, I, I you know, I, I never really understood much about South African apartheid uh, because I was born just after that, that shit kind of like ended. And, um, you know, so... I wasn't really like, I didn't realize that this, the situation was similar in South Africa, so I couldn't take any hope from that in the fact that they beat apartheid. Um, yeah, so yeah, just just absolutely, yeah, it's, it's, it's astounding.
I didn't know for so many years because I couldn't find anyone willing to talk frankly with me about it, even when people said things that uh, made it sound like Israel is either, either flawless or so evil people wouldn't step on Israeli ground to leave a fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, well, th that's the thing. Is it, 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 It's one of those things when you hear things like that, you think, how can anyone say anything like that? It doesn't make any sense. Um, but then, like, you actually look at what's going on and it's like, oh, actually, that shit is understandable understandable a silver lining to how much the israeli government has thrown optics out the window oh yeah no they don't even fucking care about optics anymore they don't care about how stupid all the stuff that they're saying sounds um and it's like really annoying liberal zionists who need there to be apartheid and genocide in order to support their zionist ideology um you know and it's also like it's like, shh, you're not supposed to say the quiet part out loud kind of thing, you know? An interesting case study in that respect, it, it happens uh, often that you explain one specific facet of the system uh, as it is that people agree it's really bad, even if they can't see the bigger picture. And it's like that's happening for the whole world in real time with this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have, we have the, the benefit of a, a much broader and more open social media. Like, they... Israel were, were worried about this in 2008, 2010, when they were um, saying like, you know, uh, 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 oh, we need to we need to make sure that we have Israeli people on Facebook. Facebook is the new it's the new discussion. It's the new marketplace of ideas. We need to have Israeli people talking all the time about how good Israel is all over Facebook. Um, and like, you know, oh, sorry, Tom, did you want to come on the desk? Come on, mate. Come on, you come up here. He's making another public appearance. Uh, well, it's Taylor's anyway. Um, and, um, yeah. I forgot where, where, what I was talking about because Tom's on it. There's a cat on my desk. It's hard to know what I'm on about when there's a cat on my desk. Yes, Tom, that's a mixing board. Please don't mess with that. Thank you very much. He's sitting down. Uh, they don't even try to pinkwash anymore. It's just turned into shitting on queer people. Yeah, for real. Definitely. Definitely. October 7th was such a successful punchback and call for help in one go. Yeah, it really was. It really, really was. Yeah. Cat and ADHD means nothing thoughts. Literally. There's a distance from cats that my brain just goes cat and nothing else. It's, it's, it's happening to me now. I don't know what, don't know what else to say, you know? Hey, no pass around. Did you know that Israel has a Wikipedia editing team? Yeah, it's called the Hasbara. Um, well, they're part of the Hasbara, the Hasbara department in the in the um, uh, 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 in the, the the government. It's literally like a, a a ministry thing, like a Knesset thing. Like they they have a propaganda department where they pay people to go around and be insufferable Zionist fascists. Uh, you know, on uh, on the internet. Do you know what I mean? Zuckerberger's name is a dead giveaway. What do you mean by that? Uh, did you know? It, yeah, so like, you know, the Hasbro, the Hasbro department will go around all over the internet uh, defending Israel. They pay people to do it. Um, it's really fucking fucked up. It's really fucking fucked up. Of online comments and a majority in the council members. This follows a similar resolution a month prior in Richmond, California, whose city council also condemned Israeli actions as ethnic cleansing and war crimes. Colombian President Gustavo Petro delivered a speech at COP28 linking the destruction in Gaza to the potential consequences faced by climate refugees. He condemned the failure of wealthy nations to meet climate... No, no, you can't just say Facebook. You can't just be like Facebook. Like, you said in the chat... Zuckerberger's name is a dead giveaway. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Explain yourself. Okay, I'm going to allow this just to let people see what this is. Yeah? 
So this motherfucker in my chat who thinks that they're being fucking smart. Did you see the Jews built tunnels under New York City? Clearly the Jews live in hypocrisy. It's the result of having to lie about being Zion Nazis for 70 years. Okay, shut the fuck up. This movement is not for you, yeah? You are an actual fucking anti-Semite, yeah? And you as well, Edon. He has links to Israel talking about fucking like... Mark Zuckerberg, oh, it's so obvious. Oh, it's so obvious. I'm not an anti-Semite. You're talking about Jews more broadly, yeah? Trying to, like, say that, like, oh, Jews, the Jews live in hypocrisy. Like, fuck off. Oh, lots of Jews are anti-Israel. Now, you can't save it anymore, bro. You can't save it anymore, bro. Get the fuck out of here. This movement is not for you. This movement is not for you, cunts. Get fucked. Yeah? Yeah, we knew what he meant. We knew what he meant when he said that. We knew what he meant when he said that. And then as soon as I started as asking about that, this motherfucker comes out of the fucking, you know, talking about tunnels, this motherfucker came out of the fucking undergrowth. You know? If you're thinking for a second that you can, like, use this movement, this anti-imperialist, this anti-genocide, this anti-occupation movement to be openly anti-semitic yeah and i mean really anti-semitic yeah you are the worst of the worst you're scum you're fucking scum you're not a leftist you're not anti-imperialist you're not an anarchist you're not fucking good you're not just not a good person yeah get fucked you know The world is currently very divided. There's a mind war going on currently, and it's all because of the system. There's division of gender, division of sexuality, division of left and right, division of religions. I mean, there's fighting because of religion. Uh, with the invention of AI, it's becoming harder to distinguish the truth from lies. How is it that the centrist in the chat is being the most based? <laughs> the person that came in the chat and was like, oh, I have to warn you, I'm a centrist is like saying the 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 truth like how how is this happening you know <laughs> correct you're not i you know i take it back you're not an idiot actually yes we should abolish gender we should abolish uh sexuality we should abolish uh you know the idea of left and right throw back to the liberal that went off on one yeah it's been it's been a very interesting stream hasn't it Yeah, no, be right. I, I, at the end of the day, like, I don't think we can assume what that person means by saying division of left and right and saying that, like, they want us to hug Nazis. I think that, like, what they're probably saying, based on the other stuff that they've said, is actually, like, you know, um, that, like, there is an intense political divide and it leads people to, to hate each other. I understand that that's, like, misguided in thinking that, like, leftists just hate people. Uh, we don't, like, you know, maybe that's something that you can learn while you're here. Um, but, yeah, genuinely genuinely speaking, like, people are led into fascism and it, and it hurts people. And, uh, yeah, it's incredibly not cool and cringe. Um, yeah. The jackass is DMing me. Yeah, block him. Do not let your fucking, like, don't, honestly, on Twitch, don't be... Don't be fucking uh, having in y your messages open. Just don't let people message you because it's just, it's just awful shit. Uh, I'm never letting those fuckers back in the community in it. You had to report him real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Like you got to do that. But uh, that motherfucker is like not getting, um, you know, back in this community if he's like harassing. A, a trans girl that's in my chat now because I banned him for being an anti semite. You know, Shabad Lubavitch uh, messianic cultists built the the tunnels because they were forbidden from 770 because they they hold the forbidden belief that the Messiah had returned, so they were denied entry to a holy space. The messianics suck. If you want a Messiah, go be a Christian. Shabad sucks. All of this represents a small number of Jews and anti-Semites are feasting online over the tunnel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They really are. 
They really are. Like I knew, like I knew about the tunnel thing. I knew about the tunnel thing. And I thought, I'm not gonna fucking even talk about this this news. I'm not even gonna talk about it. Because I know for a fact that people are gonna jump all over it and start saying, like, oh, it's the Zionists, the Zionists are uh, 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 using the tunnels. It's like, no, man, these are just like other Jews. Like, you, you, not every Jewish person is a Zionist, you fucking idiots. Completely, completely frustrating. Completely, absolutely, absurdly frustrating. The conflation of anti-Israel and anti-Semitism and the people lashing out with anti-Semitism is such a fucking plague on this movement. I mean, it's not as bad as it could be, but it's certainly bad. It's certainly bad. For sure. Anyway, let's crack on. Commitments, emphasizing the disparity in CO2 emissions between rich and poor. Petro warned of an impending climate-driven mass exodus from the global south to the north and its dire repercussions. He said the tragedy in Gaza was a glimpse into the future, highlighting the violence and barbarism likely to emerge due to immigration pressures and climate-induced crises. He stressed the need for unity among the poor and outlined Colombia's initiatives toward climate crisis mitigation, advocating for global reforms and multilateralism to address the challenges. Pressure concluded by envisioning a hopeful future through unity. Perhaps if we see a free Palestine reemerging among their remains today, we'll be able to see a living humanity reemerge tomorrow in the midst of the remains of the climate crisis. Based. And lastly, boycott, divest, and sanction campaigns are showing results. This month, Puma officially ended its sponsorship of the Israeli football team. They claim the move was planned since last year. No, not at all. Complete bollocks. Absolutely bollocks. And it's not related to Israel's ongoing genocide in Gaza, but Puma has for years faced boycott calls over its brand alliance with Israel football. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Mortem Anima. Yeah. Absolutely fucking right. Unfortunately, that motherfucker's banned and they won't see your message or hear it uh, because I've banned them and I have it on Twitch so that if I ban someone... They can't watch the stream, but um, yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, so yeah, um, th this is the thing. It, it, they hadn't had like, you know, um, hey, Garth the Stout, how's it going? Here in Brazil, we have a massive problem in self-proclaimed left party being anti-Semitic. Yeah, that fucking sucks. I mean, again, like, you know, if, if, is this like a government thing? Is this like a, like a, a political party? Because, like, this is the issue. Like, this is why you can't, like... A lot of people base their politics on what electoral politics says, as we've seen in the chat today, you know, a, a couple of times. And, um, you know, we, 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 you can't be, like, taking that kind of pol political opinion... You know, people have to people have to come from a place of material analysis. If they don't come from a place of material analysis that takes into account social class, uh, you know, economic class, then you're doomed to fail, right? You're doomed to fucking fail. It is a big problem because Israel is pushing it as well. I agree. I agree. Our socialist party kicked out their youth section for being too left-wing. Political parties ain't all that. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, like, the same in the UK. Like, you know, Labour, like, famously got rid of all Momentum members. They actually, like, canned a bunch of Jewish members as well for, for being, quote-unquote, anti-Semitic about Israel. So, you know, this is, this is the thing. This is why electoralism will not save you. It will not fucking save you. Yeah? Like, holy fucking shit, man. Anyway, so where were we with this? You know, yeah, the, so Puma was saying, oh, we'd organize to, to pull out of the Israel Football Association uh, uh, last year. It's nothing to do with the boycotts. Puma would what? No, think about who is saying this. The capitalist business, the corporation that does not want you to know that boycotts work and are effective is saying, no, actually, it was nothing to do with the boycott. Um, actually, no, uh, I dumped you first. Actually, I know that you dumped me, but no, I, I dumped you first. I actually decided uh, that you weren't, you know... I actually decided that I was gonna, I was gonna dump you first before you dumped me, so uh, technically I win. You know, it's fucking bullshit. Uh, also, like... You know, 
um fucking uh, uh, uh mcdonald's ceo is saying that like boycotts in the middle east are really hurting the brand uh starbucks is also saying please stop calling us islamophobic uh we we we, we don't want anything like this blah, blah 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 you know let let your union workers organize yeah let your workers unionize let them organize let them fucking like you know do actions in solidarity with palestinians and that's the end of it isn't it you know Hey, capitalism is a disease. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? I wish people weren't so extremist. Let's just live peacefully. I mean, like, look, you know, like, it would be great to live peacefully, wouldn't it? But unfortunately, there are imperialist, uh, fascists, militaries all over the world that are, like, killing people. Um, and, you know, what you call extremists might be people wanting to defend themselves against that. Uh, and I would disagree wholeheartedly. Uh, because I think that if you... Uh, you know, hold your hands up and say, I'm I'm a pacifist, you will just get shot and arrested and tortured anyway. I don't think that the people who are doing this stuff to people, uh, you know... Well, you have to remember more Manima, yeah? Is that there are people who are attacking and killing and hurting and oppressing people, and there are people who want to stop that from happening. That's us here. Most of the people in my community. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I understand sometimes arguments are necessary, but sometimes people take it pretty far. You see, you're way more base than 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 we gave you credit for initially. You're way more base than we gave you credit for initially. Yes, debating is a waste of time. Absolutely, fantastic. We're 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 falling together on more and more stuff. Yeah. Uh, Babs, how's it going? It's good to see you. A long time to see you. Yeah, you're finally catching me live again. Everybody, please go follow Babbling Go. He's amazing. Uh, yeah, not fucking seen you in ages. I hope you're doing really well, mate. Great to see you. Hey, Beanie Gaby, good to see you. I hope you're feeling well. All right, let's crack on with the video. AFA. Such calls have only intensified. I'm very well, thanks for asking. Israel's months long siege yes. of Gaza. But the winning doesn't stop there. Life is Starbucks busy, yeah. Has lost over $11 yeah, for sure. billion dollars in value over the same period. Passivism has its, has its uses, but it doesn't work against fascism, I agree, yeah. holiday season gimmick that would allow customers to receive a free reusable holiday cup with every person. Russia has claimed that all LGBT people are uh, 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 terrorists, that's correct, yeah. Yes, literally, are you sure you're a centrist? I've never heard centrists say this stuff, yeah. Just and even try reducing all prices by half. But since the announcement of these marketing schemes in mid-November, the company's market share- We found, it, we found it a legitimately politically homeless person. Uh, and they, I think they're rapidly finding out that they have a home here. 9% accounting for 11 billion in losses. The lowest it has experienced since 1992. To add insult to injury, starting Star to feel more human again. Good to hear it, Beanie Gaby. 9,000 workers at 360 stores made a social media post in support of Palestine. I could liberation. do with a blue fella. The Thank you very much. By suing the union. Thank Despite you very much. Everyone, the stark contrast between the politics of the working class and the ownership class. PLN will stay on top of any new developments in this story. Hell yeah. Over 2,000 activists and their supporters, with thousands more showing solidarity via live stream, gathered in Plymouth, Massachusetts, shutting down regular businesses on November 23rd for the 54th National Day of Mourning as they marched through Plymouth's tourist district. Look, I think a lot of people have wa like wacky opinions. I think a lot of, like, I'm sort of a center-left anarchist. Oh, well, there you go. You're not really a centrist, are you? Look, I want to, I want to like talk about the, the, uh, something really, really important. Yeah. I want to talk about like something that I heard someone say, someone that I look up to quite a lot. Um, and I'm not going to say who it is because I think that maybe someone could take this out of context and, uh, call them like a fascist apologizer or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I don't want that to happen to them. I'd rather that happen to me. Um, because I'm happy to like stand by it and say that whoever's saying that is fucking stupid. Um, but we got to remember, folks, that purity is the antechamber of fascism. That's what this person said. Purity is the antechamber of fascism. And if you think for a second that we should be like constantly screening people for having the correct opinions, uh, constantly, you know, refusing to work people who don't work with people who don't quite fit in with us politically and don't understand like politically like you know that liberal guy earlier i would have been happy 
I would have been happy to like have that person in my community um and like you know they can sit here and they can learn and stuff like that and rot as long as they don't you know start to say like the insane things that they were saying where they were like getting mad like just because i think that electoral politics is a waste of time there might be people in the chat right now who think that electoral politics isn't a waste of time and i'm not going to ban those people for thinking those things and we shouldn't be like actively seeking out um you know ways to like find out what someone's dirty secret is like oh they're dead they're not a true leftist they're not a true leftist like it's it's a waste of time it's it's the the purity thank you so much for for the follow like it, it's it's the antechamber of fascism like we cannot like be obsessed with purity do you know what i mean i agree wholeheartedly sasha like there's some stuff that you fundamentally can't disagree on yeah and really, I only really banned that guy earlier because he was being such a baby about it. Yeah. But I'm talking more broadly, like, you know, when, when some of you folks, you want to go out and you want to do some organizing, you want to like, you know, actually go and like unionize, you want to, you want to organize, uh, like you're going to come across people who have different opinions. You're going to come across people who are like Trotskyists. You're going to come across people who are liberals. You're going to come across people who are centrists. You're going to come across people who are conservative, who are in the union and they're doing leftist stuff. They just don't understand how leftist it is. And they don't understand why they, why their ideology is like, you know, in the antithesis of what they're fighting for. So this is what you have to remember. And, you know, I'm not saying for a, for a single second that we should be like hugging Nazis or anything like any stupid shit like that. Right. And, you know, this is it. Uh, Mortem Anima says, I secretly disagree with cancel culture. I don't think that's something that's controversial. I think that cancel c culture, broadly speaking, has been weaponized by some of the worst people. Uh, not only was it, like, something that black people, uh, you know, have, like, historically talked about and white people, white leftists basically jumped on it uh, and started, like, you know, using it to to justify uh, hate campaigns against certain people. Um, but it's also, like, ultimately carceral, isn't it? It's ultimately, like, punitive and there's no, there's no basis in abolition uh, 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 for it. Do you know what I mean? And there are lots of people, I used to say the same, that cancel culture doesn't exist. Uh, but it certainly does. And I know people who have been cancelled. I've been cancelled. Um, and it is one of the most annoying and upsetting things to go through. Uh, because you are broadly seen as like a, a horrible, terrible person with no redeeming qualities. And anyone who associates with you is a bad person as well. Tell me how that's any different from the law and order system that states use in order to criminalize the working class and social class people in it. Do you know what I mean? You used to say the same as well, Dilly. Like, this is the thing. Like, you know, it's... A, the, and, and here's the thing. People who are doing this, I understand. Like, I get it. Like, you know, I've taken part in it in the past. I regret it. Uh, but, like, you know, it's one, of, it's one of these things. It's one of these things. Like, there is no abolition in just recreating carceral and punitive justice it doesn't get anyone anywhere you know what i mean like we should we should live and we should act according to our values and what we believe in and if we believe if we truly believe in prison abolition if we truly believe in abolition of the police it means that we don't act like cops towards each other yeah that's the thing challenging settler colonial mythology and the genocides perpetrated by the pilgrims Far from seeking refuge from- Also not a fan of new age weaponized feminism, is it? Well, let's let's talk about what you're talking about here. You're talking about weaponized feminism. I don't know anyone who's like definitely fucking weaponizing feminism. I don't think that is a thing. I think that feminism is a liberationist ideology. I'm a feminist myself. I agree and support any, uh, you know, uh, uh, any kind of like, you know, women's liberation movement. Uh, non-men's liberation movement i absolutely back it i think that actually men's liberation is uh, also addressed in feminism in like radical feminism um but like yeah i i agree there is definitely weapon weaponized meninism a thousand percent like but that is not weaponized meninism that's just the patriarchy reinventing itself do you know what i mean so again like this you know that this thing that you're like you're positing here I can understand, like, why you think that it's a thing, but it really isn't. Women have historically been oppressed. Uh, feminism is the answer to that oppression. And, you know, 
if if it's weaponized it's it's weaponized i get it and i can i can make apologies for it um but more often than not it's men who have done the oppressing historically uh provably you know yes i agree the issue in general is with white feminism not feminism in general for the love of god read bell hooks yes absolutely be right please everyone read bell hooks if you're not going to read bell hooks at least like watch a video where someone talks about what she says and how it's correct like <laughs> men sorry bell hooks was all about men's liberation from the patriarchy you know uh, and and that's that's how it should be. That's how it should be. Anyway, let's crack on. Oh, sorry, Ed in the YouTube chat is saying it's dogma versus meaningful versus meaningful understanding. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Massachusetts Bay colonists engaged in a commercial and military endeavor leading to the genocide of indigenous people and the unlawful seizure of their territories. The event also focused on global issues connecting climate crisis impacts on indigenous communities, condemning exploitative eco-capitalist projects. Right, Sasha. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, with I'm with you. I'm with you. Ongoing Zionist genocide. Speakers highlighted the ongoing struggles faced by various indigenous groups, including the Kanaka Maoli people in U.S. occupied Hawaii. The devastating impact of settler management causing wildfires, the epidemic of missing and murdered indigenous women, girls, and two-spirit people, and the challenges faced by native Yeah, we can chill, but there is a lot of work to do. Exactly, Gartha, yeah. Welfare Act. The gathering was ultimately a resounding call for global <clears throat> solidarity among indigenous nations in their collective struggle against settler colonial genocide. American Indian movement activist Leonard Peltier, who had been a political prisoner for 48 years, wrote for the event. I spent most of my life caged. Leonard Peltier, we did a stream about soul of a Leonard son. Peltier's uh, struggle on Red Planet. A long time ago, what I must be and do for my people. That can never be caged. We are changing the world. Every one of us must grasp what is ours to change. History is not something that happens in a vacuum. No. History is forged, and forged we will until victorious. As United Auto Workers, UAW, reached a historic contract deal with the big three Detroit automakers, General Motors, Ford, this and is crazy. the union's president, Sean Fain, declared, the result is one of the most stunning contract victories since the sit-down strikes of the 1930s. The UAW strategic strikes followed the Teamsters groundbreaking contract with UPS, which inspired a resurgence in union power. Fain, elected as a reformer, rallied auto workers seeking fair compensation amid record industry profits. He demanded substantial wage increases and into tiered pay systems and more control in shaping the industry's transition into electric vehicles. Despite criticism from the usual capitalist suspects like Elon Musk and Donald Trump, the U.S. Thanks for the follow. bold demands resonated with workers. <clears throat> Their successful stand-up strategy of rolling walkouts pressured auto companies to yield. The strikes resulted in groundbreaking commitments for plant expansion, organizing rights at electric vehicle battery plants, and reopening a shuttered Stellantis facility. However, the fight is not over. Although they secured a 25% pay raise over five years, I do, I do, you know, you always think of like the best things to say when it's, when it's gone, right? When it's like, when the moment has passed. And like that guy before that got so mad that I was saying that like electoral politics is a waste of time and Biden is doing genocide and like the Democratic Party is like a fascist party in its own right. They're all part, they're two heads of the same demon kind of thing. It's like, my man was saying like, no, you're brainwashed. And what I really sh should have said is, by who exactly? Yeah? Because that's, that's like really the big question, isn't it? When liberals get so mad that like communists and anarchists don't want to vote. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, who's brainwashed me actually? Is it the big anarchist lobby? Is it the big, uh, you know, communist lobby? Like you believe that there's like a big communist lobby? Like what do you... Like, motherfucker, like, hates China and shit like that. He's, like, a big anti-China guy. You know, it's just like, wh where are you getting this from? Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I, I'm in big anarchist's pocket. Hello, me old chum. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, you know, like, who, who's who's doing this brainwashing of me? <laughs> like, lef leftist YouTubers, maybe? The global anarchist status quo? <laughs> it's just so stupid.
wages remain below 2007 levels when adjusted for inflation. Fane aims for a unified oh, front among God. major unions during future contract negotiations in 2028, promising to organize like we've never organized before. When we return to the bargaining table in 2028, it won't just be with the big three, but with the big five or big six. Fane encouraged unions to align- Hey, Woodburg, I wish I was in a big anarchist's pocket. It sounds comfy. Yeah, that's right. This first chance at a coordinated general strike in 80 years. We at PLN can't wait to see where this goes. Lokiera says, oh, wins, burn it down, so channel. Got it. Yeah, kind of. Burn some stuff down. Plant signed union cars with the United Auto Workers. Previous unionization efforts had failed, but the UAW... I'm no, I'm no anarcho-primitivist. ...leadership changes and the success of the big three auto company strikes that drew attention to mass corporate profits and prompted non-union companies like Volkswagen to raise wages. Beyond increased wages, yeah, the and prims, they're very smart, a aren't they? battle against corporate greed, urging workers across different companies to unite for fair treatment. The union's plan at Volkswagen involves reaching my Steely Dan 68 says Bi <laughs> Biden Harris 2024 Trump is a fascist vote blue no matter who. Like who has found like are you you have to be joking me, bro. Like I feel like this is like a Rob Russo like Is this like a is this like a Rob Russo like psyop or something? Like these these motherfuckers are literally like the the exact same as you know the Trump fans who come in the chat and they're like MAGA twenty twenty four bro let's go Brandon like you you're exactly the same dude you're exactly the same incredibly embarrassing you know community support highlighting the disparity in the treatment between union and non-union auto workers demanding fair treatment for better wages rallying community support and finally presenting the company with a choice voluntarily recognize 68th done today it's true will file for union authorization election uaw's new video announcing the drive tells workers times have changed and our time is now like if, you know if, if this person is really being serious in my chat like you what you have to remember is what what they're saying is they're saying to trans people black people um you know and arabs yeah all over all over the usa like diasporic arabs uh you know african americans transgender people queer people in general you know drag uh, drag queens uh they're saying shut the fuck up do what you're told and vote for the biden man yeah you know what i mean shut the fuck up behave don't ask for better um he's your only choice actually you know it's like it's it's a really fucking white cisgender heterosexual ideology like to, to just be like no vote actually just vote you know it's also it's also you know no basically we just want everyone to still have rights you are thick bro you are fucking thick did you not hear what i just said dude what what transgender people have got rights in states where they've just banned fucking healthcare for trans people you absolute plank we want everyone to still have rights what about the rights that are fucking disappearing now what about the fucking abortion shit? Are you an idiot? Have you never been outside? What are you fucking talking about? We just want everyone to still have rights. Those rights are disappearing now. They're disappearing fucking now, dude. Damn, yeah, you don't have a fucking comeback for that because you know I'm fucking right. Why did GM- You plank. Or Ford workers in Louisville get a better life. The question is, why don't we educators in andover massachusetts we're aware yeah and that's what makes you fucking sick that's what makes you fucking ideologically sick yeah okay have fun uh, you know what i was having fun <laughs> i was already having fun you need to tell me to have fun you know yeah, in a lot of states, the rights for people to marry children are bigger than LGBTQ rights. Incredibly, incredibly insane. 
incredibly insane. Yes, at least right wingers don't fucking like lie. At least you know where you fucking stand with them. You know what I mean? Liberals are all like, we're here for you. We're, you're, we're gonna protect your rights. Whilst like simultaneously not doing it, funding genocides all over the world, you know, helping capitalists continue to oppress the, the working class, destroy working class people's rights. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. After a five day strike. Motherfuckers in a chat with trans people going, these trans people don't know shit about trans rights, literally. Tentative agreement between the Andover Education Association and the school stupid committee. stupid prior to the strike for over two months brain poison educators had been working under an expired contract engaging in numerous unsuccessful negotiation rounds with the school committee the teachers worked to rule action where they only did exactly what is written in their contracts drew attention to the essential often unpaid contributions educators make beyond contractual obligations striking became a last resort so yeah, yeah, exactly, Steph. Exactly. No difference in practice. Community backing. The list of successful contract negotiations includes a living wage for instructional assistance. A you know, like you have to ask yourself, like, uh, you know, would you be able to say ever in your life that from the moment that you became aware, yeah, that there was an issue, did you ever vote for a party? Did you ever do anything to like make things worse for people or like you know keep things as bad as they are yeah and i'm gonna be able to get to the end of my life i know i am unless there is some kind of like horrific fascist uh revolution where i'm forced to vote um and people vote on my behalf or whatever or if you know something like this i know i'm gonna be able to say actually um i never once supported anyone who was fucking uh, uh, uh you know indifferent to people dying you know yeah this is it gumba master yeah i agree democrats gonna send you a hang in their motivational poster right exactly yeah this is it's exactly what trans people need right now isn't it hang in there don't worry one day we'll sign an executive order to protect your rights Liberals just want capitalism and imperialism to go on unimpeded. Uh, if that means we all have to go underground by fascists, then they'll stand by and watch that happen. Yeah, they will. They will. There's a Cheeto in the White House. Miss me with that shit, man. Parental and family medical leave, extended lunch and recess time. No wonder you've gone bald, mate. I can tell you stress. Nothing to do with stress. The achievement These are stress. from a strong display of solidarity between AEA members and the broader working class across eastern Massachusetts. A significant victory for educators <clears throat> and national. Thousands rallied against the privatization plans of Sao Paulo's governor, Tarquicio de Ferreltas, on a day marked by a historic strike in the Sao Paulo metropolitan region. The protests outside the Sao Paulo Legislative Assembly targeted the planned concession of public services. The event gathered representatives. I was dumb and I thought stirring up the government would help. No, no, no. It, it, and look, that's in the past, right? When you when you've been like told and educated actually to like oh um actually you know doing this is uh, actually not that helpful and it's not gonna like amount to anything you turned around and went yeah actually yeah no I should do something different there needs to be something else going on right like that's different that's what I'm saying yeah I've vo I've voted for for political parties in the past that are definitely not like you know good or based. You know, I voted Labour uh, when Corbyn wasn't in charge. I'm pretty sure I did. I either voted for Labour or the Green Party, and Green Party was like a, a waste of time. You know, yeah, you can make mistakes as long as you don't keep making the same mistakes. Exactly, Ori, yeah, exactly. Citizens vehemently opposing the privatization agenda. You know, here's the thing. Like, these liberals have, like, come into the stream. I don't know what's going on. If there's, like, there was a guy that I really upset on blue sky the other day and on blue sky particularly there are like absolutely insufferable liberal twats right so i don't know if like this guy has done a tweet about me where i'm like he's said oh he's streaming and everyone should go and tell him he's a an idiot and a baby right as if that's going to do anything um or just like i don't know maybe it's voting season the iowa caucuses are happening soon you know So they're all going on about that. And what's happening right now on the stream? On the screen is we're listening, yeah, to one of my friends talk about all the good stuff 
that organizing and direct action and mutual aid has done all over the world in the month of December. You know? Doesn't matter about the political party, it matters about who's going to do a good job. Uh, yeah, and the only people who are doing a good fucking job are these organizers that we're listening to right now. You know what I mean? The strike expressed wider concerns about preserving jobs. Yeah, I agree wholeheartedly, which is why I don't fucking vote. Amid worse <laughs> transport, water, sanitation, and education facilities, escalating costs of living, and fare hikes. The mobilization also aimed at reinstating eight metro rail... My city on screen, Tarsicio, the governor is a former minister of Bolsonaro. The, the only political plan they have, he has his privatization. Yeah, it's fucked, right? Against Completely fucked. The strike showcased worker solidarity and the collective determination... Yeah, depends on what the job is you want them to do, services. yeah. Altino de Mello Prezeris, voting for the newest and worst party just to worry the political status quo of my country said, wasn't the way to go when news broke about the leadership of that party hanging out with actual Nazis. Yeah, shit happens. Like, people make mistakes, the right? Roots. The it's whatever, you know. movement is willing to fight back. Thousands of Greek health workers took to the streets this month demanding increased salaries, more staffing, and greater funding for the public health sector. This mobilization encompassing marches in Athens and other cities was a part of a 48-hour strike organized by groups like the Federation of Hospital Doctors of Greece and the Panhellenic Federation of Public Hospital Workers. Workers are seeking a significant wage hike to offset cuts made in real wages following structural adjustments mandated by the European Union after Greece's debt crisis. Despite economic growth, the wages have declined by 25% since 2007, with salaries frozen for 15 years. They emphasize issues like staff shortages, pay freezes, inflated living costs, and changes in the allowances and seniority calculations. You know, when you hear about this stuff, when you hear about, like, salaries have been frozen for 15 years, it's like, it, it starts to put everything into perspective for you, right? It starts to put, like, you know... When you think about the 2008, 2009 financial crash, and then people said from then, it's like, okay, here's what we've got to do. We've got to do more and more austerity. So every single like country all around the world, you've got to do that austerity, bro. Don't let your fucking people have any rights, yeah? Don't let them have any rights at work, no sick pay. Let's create the, uh, bre the breeding ground. Let's create the conditions for... Uh, a what do they call it? Um, gig economy. You know, salaries frozen cannot be legal. No, no, no. Well, this is the thing. Like, it's not that they. It's not that the that they've taken a co companies have not taken a stance and gone. We're going to freeze these salaries. They just haven't increased people's wage to represent inflation. That's what that means. Like, so people have not had a a, a pay rise in fucking 15 years. This is the same case in countries all over the fucking imperial core. Never mind the periphery. Never mind, you know, continents like Africa and, and uh, Asia, you know? Functionally frozen salaries. Like, that is, that is like, what has happened over the last 15 years in every... Like, it is extremely fucked. Extremely fucked. You know, prices go up, but salaries stay the same. Make it make sense. You know? And then what people have to do is they have to unionize to... To, to, to get that, you know? abso fucking lootly Yeah, in, in 100 years, people are going to look back at us and be like, whoa, what the fuck? Shit was fucked, actually. Yeah, it's true. Their demands include a doubling of salaries, tax-free on-call duty pay, increased staff recruitment, cessation of dismissals for trainees, and the cessation of health facility... Chat, I'll go for a wheel. I'll be back in a sec. I'm drinking lots of water in the minute. They call for you increased too. state funding for the public health system. As they mobilized across Greece, they also extended solidarity with health workers in Gaza facing resource limitations during Israeli attacks. The movement garnered mass support from various entities such as the People's Health Movement, Communist Party of Greece, All Workers Militant Front, and the Federation of Women of Greece. Movements are converging and the Greek bourgeois and the EU are feeling the heat. And in Poznan, Poland, the students from Mishkevich University occupied their dormitory this month to oppose its sale to developers. With the dorm slated to be privatized, people from all over Poland joined the students in the occupation, equipped with sleeping bags, clothes, and food supplies. 
On December 11th, some lecturers moved their classes to the dorm in support. The protest was about more than this one dorm, but the increasingly neoliberal nature of higher education in Poland. Activists with the Student Housing Initiative and the Employee Initiative Youth Circle said we want the university in the face of the housing crisis to present us with specific plans for the development and construction of additional student homes. We demand a specific plan for the renovation of DS Jovita and the restoration of the building to the function of a public cheap dormitory. We demand a specific plan for the development of the university's housing resources. We demand public canteens and break rooms at the facilities. The students were successful in forcing the Be new good. higher education minister to back down and even promise funding to renovate the dorm. We Thank you, co-host, for the six pounds. We're at 66 pounds, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting the stream. Thank you for subbing off Twitch. Absolutely legendary. Thank you very much. To see it. A LGBTQ couple in Nepal are the first to be legally married in South Asia. Maya Gurung, 38, a transgender woman, and Surendra Pandey, 27, were given a legal certificate in Nepal's Lamjung district. Based, based, based. Nepal battle to have their Hindu Let's fucking go. Which took place six years ago, be recognized by the state. I had to explain to my gran um, over Christmas why um, me and Lena wouldn't want to get married in this country, at least, as things stand. Uh, because, like, the country doesn't see her as a woman. So she would have to get married, like, legally saying that she's a man, and obviously that would fuck with her so much. And my gran was, like, so, like, bewildered. She was like, what does that mean? She's clearly a woman. Like, she's met her. She's met her, in it. You know what I mean? My gran's met Lena, and she's like, wait, what? Like, what? Why is that? Like, it, it, does she need a surgery or something? And Rita, to all this kind of stuff, I was like, no, gran. You know what I mean? Like, you know, my gran, my gran is a fucking 80 odd year old woman. Yeah. She's exactly the kind of person who would say, oh, you know, she's not a real woman or something like that. You know, if she was ideologically that, that kind of way, but she's not, she's met her and she's like, oh, right. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't, you know, she, she doesn't quite get it, but like I explained it to her and she did get it. And then, but then she was just like, so like bewildered. Like, it doesn't make sense. She is a woman. She's like, she literally said she's got boobs and everything. And I was like, I know. She grew them herself. Crazy. Oh, yeah, she passed the grand test. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Transphobia is the worst. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. GD Pack NW. Uh, my mum is like that, utterly bewildered by transphobia. Yeah. Good. It means that your mum is like a. a a, a, a good person and like, you know, clever, actually. Hey, Staff Sophie, welcome in. Good to see you. Long time to see. Yeah, based granny, yeah. And then my grandma knows trans people exist. I don't think my gran really knew that much about it until like she met Lena. Uh, but that just goes to show how completely absurd it is, right? Like my gran was born in fucking 1941 or something while the war was still happening. You know what I mean? Like, that's just how completely absurd transphobia is. Even she get like gets that like Lena is a woman, you know. Anyway, the first district court they had applied to turned them down, but after the couple approached government officials, their case was finally accepted. Tragic the in the year twenty twenty four, having empathy is based. Yeah, for others. Now I know. Has been set. So Cat girl step with the three pounds sixty nine, taking us to sixty nine, sixty nine. Thank you so much. Let's get some nice nice in the chat. Um, I've said I've said about this with my partner. However, it would be extremely funny because they'd still say man and wife. Right, exactly. Especially if it's like a, a trans for trans couple, like, you know, trans man, trans woman. Because they would have to say, like, you may now kiss the bride. And it's like, okay, <laughs> I will. <laughs> you know? Oh, God. I had some issue with my grand grandma understanding my... Uh, identity, but she was also a bigot in other areas. Yeah, I mean, this is the thing. It's like, you know, people people will refuse to understand something a lot of the times until it's in front of them and it affects one of their, you know, loved ones or whatever. Um, and that sucks that it has to be like that sometimes. But that's the power of the consent manufacturing machine. Machine, right? That's the that's the power of it. Like, you can't like, I don't know what to say. Like, you 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 find it. 
so hard to struggle against that because it's got all the money in the world, you know? Hey, Tarantino, I'm, I'm so glad to hear about all the people on board. I would never be out to my grandparents um, and my great-grandma, and it feels bleak sometimes, yeah. Mort says, I think transgenderism is, is genuinely confusing to people. Okay, first things first, I know you didn't do this on purpose. Transgenderism is not a thing. So it's not an ism. It's good to not call it that. Uh, it's just being transgender or like transgender people in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, transness is the best is the best way to put it. That's right, GD. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, not an ism, just the state of being. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 confusing to people who are brainwashed by the the gender binary, right? Like if anything like, you know, the ideology is uh the gender binary that like, you know, there's only two genders. Uh there's man and there's woman and blah 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 and it's like I always bring it back to like fucking uh, you know, dogs in it, right? If being gay means that you are attracted, yeah, to uh, someone, uh, whatever, like a, you know, member of your species that, like, looks exactly the same as you, then every single dog is fucking gay, yeah? Literally gay. Like, because that that's the definition of homosexuality, isn't it? Like, all dogs, like, look exactly the fucking same. It's like, yeah, you're gay. You, you're a fucking gay dog. Like, all dogs are gay. So there you go. That's that, isn't it? That's the end of that. Cats as well. Every cat is gay. Every lizard is gay. Unless there's like a vast, um, you know, whatchamacallit, like uh, 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 a, a, a vast sexual dimorphism, um, you know. Sorry, I have autism. Uh, okay, look, man. I get it, yeah. I get it that, like, things... I've banned people for that in the past, yeah. I've banned people for that in the past, but I don't think that you're being, like... I don't think you're being, like, a dickhead here. But, like, there are people who are autistic who, you know... Understand that stuff. It's nothing to do with you being autistic. It's just to do with you not knowing. And it's okay to admit that, innit? Do you know what I mean? It's okay to admit that you just didn't know. You don't need to, like, rely on your neurodivergency. I've got ADHD in it. And I've had people in the chat say that they've, like, you know, said something that's uh, offensive or, you know, annoying. And then they've, like, laid back on their fucking ADHD and I banned them for that. You know what I mean? That's actually genuine as well. No, I believe you, yeah. Meant to be perceived as a joke. No, 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 we shouldn't be assuming that. You know what I mean? We shouldn't be assuming that. I think I think it's bad to assume that. I understand why, like the internet. You know what I mean. But yeah. Anyway, look. This is the thing. Um. Yeah, it's not a factor for like trans uh, transphobia. Social programming issue may be made worse with the autism, but it's not the autism. I can't speak for autism, but I know that that's the same for ADHD. So that's how I feel it. Yeah, that's how I. That's how I like. You know. No, I don't think. No, I don't think that's what they're saying, Ori. I think. I think some people are getting it twisted in the chat. I don't think that's what that person was saying. <clears throat> Hey, Rohamild, how's it going? Here's a fun fact. Did you know uh, that there is no evidence that hunter-gatherers had gender binaries? For all we know, everyone did everything. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Saying shit like autism, oops, I mean, ought is a dick move. Uh, explain to me how. Sorry, I don't, I don't get that. Boo Ponce, the founder of the Blue Diamond Society, the first LGBTQ rights organization in Nepal, who took the issue of same-sex marriage to the Supreme Court in June and won the ruling. No, I know I can see that, but I don't know what I don't know what you mean. I, I need you to explain to me why it's a dick move. I don't understand why it's a dick move. I don't get it. I don't get it. I've never seen that happen before. I don't know what's happening with, with that. Describe the granting of the marriage certificate as a historic day, adding. I think there will be many more couples coming forward now. 
Over 25,000 people took to the streets in Brussels during COP28 to demand the prioritization of planet and people over profit. Organized by the Climate Coalition with the support of groups like Workers' Party of Belgium and trade unions, the demonstrators criticized EU countries for reopening coal mines and other hydrocarbon sources that were once shut down, Belgium's poor environmental performance, the UK government's approval of the Rosenbank oil project, multinational corporations prioritizing profits over environmental sustainability, and drew attention to the ways in which EU's so-called green transition plans had already been derailed. A resounding battle cry for the urgent need to combat the climate crisis and pressure on the COP28 to take decisive action. Yep. As leftists, we know that the bourgeois governments will not act out of the goodness of their heart. They yeah, they won't. They certainly won't. The masses. And if they don't, history is clear on what comes next. Yeah. Comrades, if you have good news from the current month, there you go, chat. Stories, Some absolutely based shit. Don't forget. Thank you to Javi for the positive new jams. Thank you to Cosmo for the positive Please go subscribe, background. like, thank comment you to Maxie, Catherine, on uh, and Jacob for the script writing and production. And thank you to Tristan for editing positive this leftist video. news. And to me, of course, FD Signifier for hosting this one. If you'd like to support the show, please go to patreon.com. Autism is a whole world. There is no shortening it. It is not designated an ism. The critique is not. Oh. I get it now. I get it now. I get it now. I get it now. It was a joke surrounding the 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 whole the general misunderstanding of the situation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think just like saying sorry and moving on is the best way forward. Do you know what I mean? So there you go. Yeah. I get it now. I get it now. Yeah. I didn't fucking catch that at all. Yeah. Catch that at all. Yeah. Please also check out FD's channel. Yeah. If you haven't already, like I imagine most people are already here, um, because of. FD signifier. Well, not everybody, but lots of people. Lots of people found out that I exist because of FD. I owe him a lot. Uh, he's a great guy. If I could, if I could ever like do the same for him, I would. Um, but hopefully, he's going to continue to grow, and that will never be necessary. Uh, anyway, so that's that, everybody. Uh, yeah, very cool, very based. Got a lot of stuff going on there. Um, so let's take a look at what's going on now. What did I have planned next? Uh, Tom's not here, unfortunately. So, you know, we just got, you know. Uh, the fuck off was a little crude. It's just meant, uh, I just meant it wasn't the time for that joke. No, 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 it's all good, Sasha. Yeah, 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 it's all good. It's all good, it's all good. All good. Putting the video on in the background. Since I came in late, yeah, no worries. Yeah, tone through text is really hard to understand a lot of the time. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's all good. It's all good. We're all learning. We're all understanding each other. You know? Um, so. What did I have planned? Don't really have a lot of time chat. This is the thing. And I'm thinking that I actually, like... I've been streaming for three hours and I might have to, like, just call it here. And I know that's really annoying. I know I said I was going to do, like, a bunch of other stuff. But, like, I've got to fucking eat. Um, and I've got to have, like, some pretty important mean meetings uh, with the union. So I think I want to give myself some time to eat. And I want to also, like, be mentally ready for these meetings. Because it's going to be fucking, like, it's going to be, like, a couple of hours of my time. And uh, I know that I do that to get paid as well. But, like... It's still stressful. It doesn't stop it from being stressful. So thank you so much, everybody, for being here. I really appreciate that. Especially the new viewers on YouTube who are watching on YouTube. Absolutely crazy that you can just, like, stream on Twitch and YouTube nowadays. Um, also, like, uh, you know, follow me on TikTok, please, so that I can get to a 1,000 subscribers. Uh, it's on the socials. I'm going to drop those socials in the YouTube chat now. Uh, how do I do this? Oh, that's really fun, isn't it? That like uh... It's really fun that YouTube just like doesn't let you post as much as as, uh, as Twitch. It's really cool that that happens uh, There's a mule talk. Yeah, check me out on TikTok. Yeah, please tick mule. Yeah. yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Immediately follow. Thank you very much Sasha. Yeah, I got a bunch of content on there. It's all like 
I started a lot of it with like just rubbish, crap, whatever, like not really thinking about it. And then I started like getting bits from the stream and putting those on there. Uh, and bits from my videos and whatnot. So, um, yeah. It's, uh, there's, there's some stuff on there that I would recommend. Uh, yeah, listen, I don't know. Can you raid someone on, uh... <laughs> can you raid someone on YouTube? Not many people know this. His name is actually Dick Jock Mule. That's right. There you go. Um, I don't know if you can, like, raid people on... On, uh, 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 on YouTube. Can you do that in a YouTube chat? Does anyone know how you do that? Don't think YouTube raids are a thing? Okay. Well, I, I, I don't really have anything to offer the YouTube folks. I'm really, really sorry. Um, but join me tomorrow. I'll be back. Same mule time, same mule place. Um, yeah, we're gonna hang out. We're gonna finally watch the, uh, YouTube video. Sorry, we're gonna finally watch the Thought Slime, new, new Thought Slime video react to that. New Mildred. I said I was gonna do that on Monday. It's now Wednesday and I have not done it. Um, so, I am gonna go ahead and raid, oh, some people on. Twitch. So who are we going to raid? Let's have a little look here. On YouTube, I think the channels have to manually opt into who can raid them. Kind of complicated and newish. Oh, all right. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. All right. Well, that's that anyway. Well, listen, let's go read uh, Marcus at the left flank vets. I love Marcus. If you've not followed Marcus already... Please, please, please do so. Uh, he's amazing. Left flank vex, vets in general are really, really good. I'm going to drop the Twitch channel in the YouTube chat anyway. If So, you know, people can just go ahead and, and check out the channel if they want to. Uh, we're going to go ahead and raid over here on Twitch. So you could just uh, join the raid if you're in the Twitch chat. Please copy and paste uh, the raid message and join us. Head over to show some love to Marcus. Uh, he's currently doing some uh, watching C-SPAM. I think C-SPAM or something and uh, reacting to that. So that's very cool. Hey, Demon gone good. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Thank you, everyone, for supporting. Thank you for the donos. Thank you for the subs. Uh, thank you for the follows. Um, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to check out all the socials. They're excellent to each other. Mwah. Peace, 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 peace. Good night, good night, good night, good night, good night.